Happy one championship day, my filthy animals. It is going to be a busy weekend, a wild weekend, but more importantly, it's going to be a fun weekend. I hope you all are ready for this. I know I damn sure am. So with that being said, let's get things started. What's going on, everybody? Yours truly, Jay Smoothie, and I'm here to give you guys the commentary for One Fight what, One Fight Friday, number six, here on a beautiful day known as February two, uh, February 24th, 2023. We are wrapping up February, the second month of the year already, folks. Already two months down in the new year. And we're about to approach, I'd say, one of the one of the more exciting months of the entire year in terms of combat sports coming up. Uh, next week, of course, everybody knows that uh, the big John Jones return is next week for 285. But for this weekend, folks, it's going to be a monstrous one. Today, we have not one, but two one championship cards going down. Oh, shoot. Hold up. Hold on. Let me put the info on the screen here. Boom. There we go. Sorry about that center that there we go so not only do we have this card going down right now on friday fights from lumpany stadium let's go by the way what's going on uh pullman great to see you let me go ahead and shout out to everyone in the animal room yep pullman is in there already locked and loaded ready to go but yes it's going to be a busy one though guys it's going to be a busy one though we have one fight fridays right now then tonight i'd say about about seven hours after this card goes off, we go back to Lumpany Stadium. So it's a double header there at Lumpany. I wonder how many fans got tickets for both cards. Uh, and then we have this beautiful 10 fight card. We have these three, you know, little post limb fights that are going to happen, I think, before the card even starts. Uh, I won't be home till like 30 minutes before the main card, though. Uh, actually, no, about an hour, but I'll be on live 30 minutes before the main. But our main fights for the night. John Lineker and Andrade rematch for the One Featherweight Championship MMA rules. Speaking of Muay Thai, look at this. We have Tawan Chi defending the One Lightweight Muay Thai Championship against Jamal Yusupov. Uh, Martin Wynn has his second opponent in a span of, I think, like two days or something. This man has had two opponents fall out. Uh, so he's had to get himself a new one. We got Sam Petch Fairtex in kickboxing. Uh, Danny King on MMA, we have Daniel Kelly in a grappling match, and then of course we have a heavyweight kickboxing match featuring Andre Stosia to kick things off for One Fight Fridays. It's going to be an interesting one. We're going to start off with two back-to-back -back Muay Thai fights. We have an MMA fight on the slate. We have two of them, actually. We have one kickboxing fight from what I can tell, but I think there's two. I think there's two. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, but yeah, two MMA fights, and then of course we got a lot of Muay Thai fights on deck for today. The main event is Kunselek. I've seen names like Jinselek and Kunselek, so I'm not quite sure. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not quite sure which is which. Uh, let's see. I think they have his name right. Yeah, they have the Kunselek fight as the main event. I don't know why. But it's supposed to be Jin Selec versus Kung Thorain. Or Kung Thorny. Uh, in the main event for our Flyweight. Uh, for the Flyweight Muay Thai division. We have, let's see. We have, let's see, two. Let's see how many catchweights we got. Oh, only three catchweight fights. Including our opener, which is walking out now between Celeste Hansen and... Uh, wait, hold on. Kalikid? I think it's Kalikid. Oh, man, but yeah, it's it's going to be a fun one, though. We have basically a Muay Thai special with some kickboxing and a couple MMA fights thrown in there. Then tonight, uh, also a striker's delight. The main event will be a striker's delight, too, funny enough. Even though it's MMA rules, I expect a lot of striking in that. Uh, I, I would love to see Sam Petch fight tonight uh, for kickboxing. Let's see. Muay Thai-wise... We have Tawanchi defending his belt. That's going to be a very good fight with Jamal Yusupov. Yusupov's a good challenger. Uh, and then, of course, Lineker and Andrade. Those two are going to throw down. So these two right here at the top, automatic fire tonight. But yes, let's go ahead and get started. We have Henson and Kaliked already in the ring. Oh, good to see you, Chase Bishop. Great to see you, sir. Happy Friday to you. But yeah, man, yeah, we're, we're starting off hot and heavy. We got two one cards in one day. I don't think one championship has done this in quite some time, at least from what I remember. Cheers, everybody. Got my coffee, my water. 
I have my bong there as well on the side. Out of the gate, though, we're starting with Kaliked. Kaliked Por Mong Petch. And then Celeste Hansen out of Australia. So Thailand versus Australia to start off. Uh, 53.52 kilograms. How much is that in weight? Let's find out. According to topology, that is 115, I guess. Okay, so 115. All right, both ladies meeting in the center. It should be good, folks. Usually Muay Thai from the men and the women do a great job of delivering on both ends. Let's see if this fight will deliver some action to get us started on the long but fun day we have ahead. Here we go, round one. Good, low kicks out the gate for Kali Kid. One, two for Kali Kid. Good elbow for Kali Kid. Another elbow for Kali Kid out the gate. Damn. Hanson catching a kick. A couple punches there for Kali Kid. Oh, wow. The feed's already fuzzy. They need to fix that shit. Good elbow there for Kali Kid. One, two there for Celeste. Celeste with Hanson with another low blow. Oh, shit. Kali Kid is hitting her with punches now and hit her with a big elbow, backing her all the way up. Got her in a clinch now, just Kali Kid. Landed some good knees on her. A couple good elbows. Now they're switching position. Good elbow again. Now the ref going to jump in there. Separate them. Now they're right back to striking. Good jab for Kali Kid. Good jab for Kali Kid again. Another jab for Hansen. But now they tie up immediately. Good knee for Calicad. Hansen with the knee. Now the ref going to jump in there. Separate him immediately. Calicad with a low kick. Good return fire for Hansen. Hansen with a low kick and a jab. Nice elbow for Calicad. Now some return fire for Calicad. Right hands. Now some good right hands, some good jabs, and a nice little hook there. One, two for Cali Kid. Another one for Cali Kid lands. And now in the clinch, he lands a knee on her. Hanson's getting uh get getting hit pretty hard here in the early going. Now the ref gonna jump in there, separate him. They're gonna reset in the middle. One minute to go. You see the screen. I mean, you see the clock on the right hand side of the screen opposite me. Good knee, nice one, two for Cali Kid. Good return fire for Hansen. Elbows for Hansen. Now some jabs for Cali Kid. Another jab. A good return fire for Hansen. Little kick for Cali Kid. One, two for Cali Kid. Cali Kid pushing her into the ropes now. Pushing Hansen deep into the ropes. Ref jumping in there to separate him. Staying light on the feet is Cali Kid. Low kick for Cali Kid. And a jab behind it. Nice elbow for Hansen. Good elbow for Hanson, but Cali Kid able to counter her with an elbow and a straight jab. Damn, nice little hook there for Cali Kid. And now they're just like they're just like twirling into the ropes there. Ten seconds to go. Ten second warning sound. Nice low kick for Cali Kid. Good elbow for Cali Kid. Another elbow. Good left hand by Hanson, and there's the end of the round. Not bad. Good first round. What's going on, Mr. S uh, hold on. Mr. Siriich, or Siriich. Let's see, Paul McCallicat is a dog. Fucking cool, absolutely. Very good round right there for Cali Kid. Obviously, they score the fights in their entirety in one championship, but if we're going to go round by round here, I would have to give Cali Kid the round. Cheers, by the way, everybody. Oh, let me do it this way.
right, let's wait for them to now get reset. Come on now, ref. There we go, round two. Good first round for Cali Kid. Cheers to you, Puma. Good jab for Cali Kid. Low kick for Cali Kid. Now a couple kicks there for Hansen. Cali Kid with a nice flurry of combos there. Like three one twos right there. Nice front kick there for Hansen. Low kick for Hansen. His return fire there by Cali Kid. Now they're in a clinch. Cali Kid with a nice elbow. Calicad moving around quite a bit. Good jab for Hansen. One, two for Calicad. Good knees for Calicad. Calicad with a nice knee. Damn, nice knee to the body. She is super aggressive on Celeste Hansen. Hansen needs to figure something out here. Right now, she's getting beaten to the punch. Low kick by Calicad. One, two by Calicad. Calicad with a one, two. Nice return fire by Hansen. Good jab by Hansen. Couple low kicks and a one two. Damn, another one two there by Hansen. Clinches up immediately with Cali Kid. Ref jumps in there. Salute to you, H Muddy. Great to see you, H Muddy, my brother. I hope you're doing well, my dude. Shout out to you and all the masters of boxing doing your thing over there. Nothing but respect. Damn, Hansen now trying to fight her way back into this shit. There's a good combo by Hansen. She's still getting lit the fuck up, though. Cali Kid too fast for her and too aggressive. Damn, Hansen is completely whiffed on that right hand. Easy work right there for... Oh, shit. Cali can't go into the body now. Going to the body and the head. Nice jab to the body. Mixing it up to the head now is Cali Kid. Hansen with a nice right hand to the body. But a one-two by Cali Kid to answer that. Cali Kid is answering all of her punches now. Hansen looks completely worn down here. Now an elbow. Now a knee for Cali Kid. Hansen with a straight left. She's trying to fight her way into this. Oh, she, she looks wounded, though. Her punches are way too slow compared to Cali Kid, who's just lighting her up with jabs. Another elbow for Cali Kid. Damn, looked like Hanson almost got a finger in her eye there during that clinch. That looked a little dirty. I don't blame her, though. She's getting her ass whooped, so I guess you got to do what you got to do. Good jab for Hanson. Muay Thai fights are fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy. Good jab by Hanson. Nice return fire by Cali Kid. Cali Kid with a straight jab. Cali Kid with a nice three-piece. And Hanson with a two-piece to answer. Oh, right hand by Cali Kid. Another right hand by Cali Kid. Now an elbow. Hanson with a right. She fucking jacked her jaw with that one. And somehow Hanson is still in this despite getting completely beaten up. And now she's fighting back. She is still fighting back. Nice catch of a kick. 10-second warning. Oh! Two punches for Cali Kid. And fucking Hanson catches the kick and fucking pushes her down. Like it's an MMA takedown. And there's the end of the round. Holy shit. Action packed, bro. Action packed from start to finish. That was that was crazy. Yeah, this is a fun one. It is fun. This is a fun fight. I'm telling you, bro. The the women in Muay Thai fight better than the women in MMA, man. I don't know what it is, but w women in Muay Thai don't give a fuck, bro. They're they're some savages and some bad bitches. Bad bitches all the way down and savages all the way down. You're not bored like watching two ladies fight in MMA. Well, she made it to the next round. How about that? How about that, man? She's got some fucking heart, bro. She's got some heart. She's getting her ass whipped, and somehow she's able to just keep on fighting. She kept throwing, too. She was eating, like, fucking, like, three combos, and Hans is like, fuck that. I'm not dead yet. I gotta give the, I gotta give the slide edge, I think it might be one to one actually, I think it might be one to one, just because Hanson fucking had a way better round in the first round, I don't know though, might, might be one to one if they scored it round by round, but there's always a chance she could steal it in the end, if she has a strong final round, here we go, Hanson needs a strong round, and Calicate needs a strong round, these two ladies are uh, fighting for it all here in the third, ooh, good elbow for Hanson, damn, she caught her with that. That was a beautiful step in elbow. Now a jab. Another one, two, three, four. Look at Hanson. Hanson is landing on Calicat and marching. Trying to march this girl down. Another one, two. Now Calicat with some straight rights. Right. Another one. Another one. Another one. She's spamming him. Calicat is spamming the right hands on Hanson. This is insane. Body shot for Hanson. Nice counter for Calicat. 
Good job for Hanson again. Hanson with another one, too. Oh, nice job for Hanson. Oh, elbow catches it right on the jaw. Elbow by Hanson catches Calicate on the jawline. And then a four-piece by Hanson. Look at Hanson just walking down like a damn zombie. This bitch has been getting hit all fight, and she walking down like a damn zombie, like it don't hurt her. And now Calicate hitting her hard with some more punches, more punches, more and more. And Hanson fight back. Two piece by Hanson. Another punch by Hanson. Good counter by Calicate. Oh my God! Referee gonna let him right back in it after a moment of pausing. Good knee now for Calicate. Good elbow for Calicate. Oh, right hand by Hanson cracks her right on the jaw. Oh, three piece by Hanson. She's doing the zombie shit. Right hand by Hanson. She's bullying her to the ropes, like pushing her in there. A couple knees by Hanson. This is insane. Hanson don't stop, bro. She's getting her ass whooped in that first round, but she has not stopped since then. Now Calicat with some right hands. Calicat in for a fucking battle right here. Look at Hanson. Three, four, five, six. Oh, seven, eight. She's fucking just... Oh, she's lining these combos of punches up, man. These punch combos are fucking landing on Calicid. Calicid didn't think she'd be in this much danger. Look at fucking Hanson. Uppercut. Another right. Oh, Calicid coming back. Good uppercut by Hanson. Body shot by Calicid. Good one, two by Hanson. Yo. What the fuck? These two ladies are just going at it. Left by Hanson. Another left. Another left. Right, left. Oh, Hanson with uppercuts. Oh, the ref stops it. The ref stops it. Sunlast Hanson does it. Hanson does it. Oh. Yo. Holy shit. Are you fucking serious, bro? Oh, my God. Bro, these two fought with everything at Hanson's like, bitch, you are not going to kill me. She refused to die. Holy shit. Wow. These Friday morning fights are sick as fuck. Yo, Bishop, I'm glad you're on the bandwagon, my brother. As Palman always says, jump aboard the bandwagon, folks. These Friday morning fights are fucking insane. Hanson FTW says Palman. Yo. We already have a fight of the night, and we've only just started. God damn. Oh, my God. Folks, I'm telling you, the, the fights we get on Friday mornings are sometimes better than the fights we see all weekend long. And I said it before, the fights we see today, it's probably going to beat Bellator UFC tomorrow and likely going to beat Paul Fury on Sunday. This is, this is next level shit. This is some savage shit, man. Lady fighting one, never born, he says Fatara. It's true. Good to see you, Fatara. The lady fights of one are never boring. Muay Thai, MMA, kickboxing. Bro, even one championships like, you know, WMMA is better than the WMMA in the UFC. As Pullman said, Dana wishes he had WMMA fights in the UFC like this one. Bro, that is a factual statement. Even the WMMA fights in one championship deliver like like this this is some this is some savage shit man these ladies fight like they have everything on the line bro Hanson showed some heart she did man she's a savage yo. she is a she is a savage warrior of a woman right there she got her ass beat in that first round and then dominated the second and then the third closed out the damn show and she gets a bonus. 350,000 bots, which I think is what, 10,000 American, 50,000 American, something like that? She got 350,000 Thai dollars for that. God damn, she gonna be living like a queen out there. Whew. And her face, is, her face is lumped up a little bit too, but boy, she earned that one. She earned it. Gotta give her a bonus for that. Gotta give her a bonus for that. That is lovely. What an opener of a fight. And folks, we still got, I think, like 10 more of these battles. I think we got like 10 more, 11 or 10 more, something like that. But man. And the best part is, these fights, they go by quickly. We got Muay Thai, kickboxing, and only two MMA fights on this bitch. 
That's as crazy as it gets right there, man. Big win by Hansen to start off the card. What up, Derek? Great to see you, Derek. Derek says bonus. Yes, sir. Got got to give her that money, my dude. She fought like she needed that bonus for real. Well, hey, look, as Pullman said, the women in the UFC, Bellator, PFL, women all across WMMA, they need to learn how to fight like this. Because even the WMMA in one championship is lit to this level. We just witnessed a Muay Thai fight between two ladies that were fighting like their fucking families were going to die if they lost. Like, you you just don't see that elsewhere. You don't see that elsewhere, man. One championship is fu- Oh, they got it. They got it. I don't know how they did it. I don't know where you find women like this, but damn. They're fucking on it, man. It is never bad. What do you think about Tawanchi versus Yusupov? This is Michael Jordan. What's up, Michael Jordan? Uh, I think Tawanchi versus Yusupov is going to be a good fight. Uh, one thing we've noticed so far is that a lot of the Russian uh, Thai fighters are, are making statements out here. Of course, like with the big uh, Alizov and Super Bowl and win kind of being the, the 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 catalyst to set everything off. Uh, so I I anticipate Yusupov will put on a good fight. Uh, I'm gonna side with Tawanchi, but I I think Tawanchi's in for a good fight. I don't I don't know if he'll finish this guy necessarily because a lot of the Russian Tie fighters I've seen one bring in recently. These motherfuckers are are hard to beat. They got block heads and they got blocks in their gloves for fists. And their strikes hit like you're getting hit by a damn car. So, I think if anything, Tawanchi's going to be in for an entertaining fight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to side with him, but it, it ain't going to be easy for him. I won't surprise if he gets it by a decision. Hanson was also awesome. Terminator shit. She was, bro. It was like just Terminator, zombie type shit. Like, she just kept eating everything, kept walking forward. Like you said, just like the damn Terminator. This woman wasn't afraid of shit. Kept walking down, kept throwing, took everything that Cali Kid gave to her, and it still wasn't enough, man. I love seeing fights like that. Gotta love when they pour it all on the line like that. That's always the best. Right now we're in commercial. Looks like we're gonna be back in a little bit. Yeah. And by the way, uh, tonight's card, uh, the one that's on Prime, uh. This one is also in the same exact venue, so we're in Lumpany Stadium tonight. I mean, right now, we're going to be in Lumpany Stadium when I come back tonight to do this card. So, it's a Lumpany double header. I wonder how many fans there got tickets for both shows. Or maybe they had a package, like a little package deal, where you pay one price and you get tickets for both shows. Maybe they did some shit like that. What's going on at Doomskin says, how you doing today, Jay? Good to be here as always. Great to have you here, my dude. I'm doing pretty well. Getting ready for the day. Starting off with a fire one Friday fight card and then heading off to work. And then right after work, literally right after work, my ass is going to be showering, pouring up the, pouring up all the fun drinks and getting ready to react to this bad boy tonight. This is going to be a fun one right here. Lineker and Andrade are going to run it back. After that, no, their first fight went to a no contest. Tawanchi and Jamal are going to have a fun fight. Martin Wynn finally has an opponent that's not going to fall out for whatever reason. we got Sam Petch Fairtex in a kickboxing fight. Ah, and we have Instagram woman, model, whatever you want to call her, uh, Danielle Kelly. And then kicking it off, we have uh, Andre Stosia. And we also have Danny Kingod. Uh, also on the card, so it's not, it's actually not a bad lineup tonight, so yeah, both cards are fucking stacked up with fights, and already we have the walkouts for our next one, between a man named Hercules, and a man named Shingo, Hercules War Shakarwat, against Shingo Shibata, I like that name, Shingo Shibata, that's pretty cool, sounds like some warrior shit, Herb Dean, he's in Lumpany right now because he's going to be the ref for tomorrow. Ah, that's right. He's going to be the ref for the uh, for the one on uh, the the one fight night card on Amazon Prime tonight. That's going to be pretty cool. I did see Herb Dean was there. He took a picture with one of the um, one of the Muay Thai journalists that covers like all the daily fights that they have there. They're pulling out all the stops for tonight. I like it. 
By the way, this Shingo guy apparently in the post in a pre-fight interview said that Hercules has no chin. <laughs> We're about to find that out. So Japan versus Thailand in this one. And now we have Hercules walking out. I've seen a lot of interesting names. I've seen Super Bowl. I've seen Batman. I've seen Bruce Lee. I think there's a guy named Black Panther fighting like March 9th or something or March 7th. And now we got a motherfucker named Hercules. Not built like Hercules, but probably hits uh, as hard as him, I imagine. And by the way, this is at Bantamweight, which I think in there, I think in one championship's lane is like, yeah, I think like featherweight probably. At least if I had to guess, it's probably that. This would be interesting, though. This would be very interesting. We've seen, I, I'd say in terms of all the Muay Thai fights we've watched, I don't remember a Thai fight that has been boring. Everything has been on point so far. And everything is right where it should be. The ladies are performing. The men are usually performing. And uh, I think the more we do these, we're going to start to see more and more familiar names. Like, I know we're getting, I think Sang Mani, I think, is uh, returning, I think, on that March 9th card. I know in March, like, I think the first week of March, we're getting, like, a, like another Muay Thai title fight. We haven't had a title fight on one of these cards since uh, Nang O defending his, defended his belt uh, in the very first one. So it'll be good to have another title fight here. And now Hercules is in there. He actually is receiving a pretty good ovation from all the fans in Thailand. Not not a crazy loud ovation like you would hear from some of the other stars, but a pretty good one. And now we have the ring announcer in the sky. Which I'm pretty convinced is some sort of gotta be either an AI voice or the ladies doing it from the bathroom somewhere. Cheers everybody. Shingo Shibata introduced first. Good to see you, Joel Winters. Good morning to you. Let's put that down there. Hercules now introduced second. Let's see who the referee is for this. Oh, he don't even introduce the ref. He's like a skinny version of Olivier Cost. That or Wahala Ishmael. A little bit of that in there too. To touch the gloves or back to the corners. Ref checks the judges. Everybody's ready. Here we go. Round one. All oh, gas, no brakes here. Good low kicks out the gate for Shibata. Nice body kick for Hercules. Good counter for Shibata. Double jab for Sh Hercules. Good kick to the body for Hercules. Elbow for Hercules now. Good knee to the body for Shibata. Good knee for Hercules. Oh, and fucking Shibata just literally threw him to the ground. Looks like they both just kind of twirled around and tripped and it looked like a nasty fall. Good elbow there for Hercules. He's not hurt by it though. Low kick by Shibata. High kick by Hercules. Good elbow by Hercules and a good strike by Shibata. Now they're in a clinch. Good knee from Shibata. Ref jumping in there to separate him. Nice kick to the body by Shibata. Four piece by Hercules. Good strike by Hercules again. Good elbow by Shibata. Counter elbow by Hercules. Kick to the body by Hercules now. One, two by Shibata. Shibata says Hercules has no chin. We'll see about that. Good kick to the body. Uh, actually, that was kind of a high kick for Hercules in a way. Separate him. Now they're right back to striking. Good little looping hook there for Shibata. High kick for Hercules. Stepping elbow by Hercules. Nice strike by Shibata. Good elbow by Hercules. Another elbow by Hercules. Damn. Good counter elbow by Shibata. Kick to the body by Hercules. One, two by Shibata. Elbow by Shibata. Elbow by Hercules. That was the side of the head. Almost the back of the head there. Good knee by Shibata. Knee by Hercules. Another knee by Hercules. 
Straight jab by Hercules. Ah, oh, Hercules tried to take his head off with the left, but a good counter by Shibata. Both throw knees to the body. Good punch by Hercules. Nice counter by Shibata. Uppercut by Shibata. Jab by Shibata. One, two by Shibata. High kick missed by Hercules. Punch to the body for Shibata lands as well as the elbow. One, two by Hercules. Counters by Shibata now. Low kick by uh, Shibata. Good leaping hook there by Hercules. Good elbow by Shibata. Jab by Shibata. One, two by Hercules. Hercules with a knee. Beautiful knee. Good elbow by Shibata. Jab by Shibata. One, two, three, four by Shibata. Jab by Shibata. Good knee by Hercules. Ref going to jump in there. Ten seconds to go. Excellent first round. Good elbow again. Good uppercuts and a hook by Hercules. And now a hook by Shingo. Another one, too, by Shingo. And there's the end of the round. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's see. Tie boxer name after hero from TV series. Like they have a very classic way to name uh, uh, Hanuman, Wukong, and Samson. Uh, something like that says Fatara. Good stuff. Love that round right there. Tough for me to, tough for me to score it, but uh, a lot of pressing forward by Hercules on this one. Very close round. Oh, who you got, Jay? I'm gonna lean Hercules on that one. Shibata's doing a good job, though. Shibata did very good in that round. I'm gonna give a slight edge to Hercules because he pressed forward a little bit more. Uh, but Shibata is not out of it by any means. Shibata could easily steal round number two in my eyes. Excellent counter striking, I'd say, by Hercules. Some good pressure by Shingo in some spots. Here we go. What's up, bro? What's going on, uh, Skatesman? Good to see you, sir. We are in round number two of our second fight on the card. Oh, good strike by Hercules. Good step in knee by Shingo. Good elbow by Hercules. Holy shit. Beautiful elbow strike. Actually, it was more of a right hand, I believe. One, two by Shingo. Looked like an elbow. Another right hand by Shingo. Nice counter by Hercules. Couple elbows and a punch by Hercules. Swinging for the fences here. Good knees by Shingo now. Referee jumping in there to save him. Well, to separate him. Now he says continue on. Good knee by Hercules. Good elbow by Shingo. Oh, Shingo kind of muscles Hercules over, throws another knee. Now 1-2 by Hercules. Now both land jabs on each other. Good body shot by Shingo. Another body shot by Shingo. Good knee to the body by Hercules. Good knee for Shingo. Body shot for Shingo. Couple jabs for Hercules now. Now they're going to back him up is Shingo. Damn, good knee though for Hercules. Very good knee for Hercules. Now the ref going to separate him. Good right hand. By Shingo. Good knee by Hercules to counter. Oh, big elbow by Hercules. Another elbow by Hercules lands flush. He's backing up Shingo now. 1-2 for Shingo. Shingo going to tie up in a clinch. Throw a knee. Actually, throw another knee. And now an elbow by Shingo. Ah, elbow just missed for Hercules. That would have been a monstrous one if he had landed that shit. Maybe could have split him over with a good elbows over Shingo. Lands a couple good ones. Now the ref going to separate him from a clinch. Reset him. Good kick to the body for Hercules. Good hooks for Shingo. Good knee now for Hercules. Good knee for Hercules again. That one got into the chin instead of the body. Going right back to clinching. Good knee for Shibata. Good elbow for Shibata. Shingo, Shibata lighting him up like a tree in this round. Hercules still pressing forward though. This man doesn't give a fuck. Good right hand for Hercules. We've been seeing a lot of this. People just take punishment and continue to walk forward. I love that. Ref is like pulling fucking Shingo off of Hercules right there. Good elbow for Hercules. Good counter by Shingo. Good jab by... Oh! Snapping head kick by Hercules! Shingo's wounded! Shingo was wounded after that! That was a rocking, jaw-jacking head kick. Ten seconds ago. 
Damn. Good one, two for Shingo. Good counter by Hercules. Hercules has a fucking chin, all right. Good right hand for Shingo, and there's the end of the round. Wow. Good. It was very close around. I might lean. I might lean Shingo there. Hercules was doing his as Pullman said his Terminator shit right there. That head kick was nasty at the end of the round. That was his best strike. She actually looking at it now feels like maybe maybe um maybe Hercules sided with that one. Let's see, Terminator shit. What's up, Aunt William says the show on ESPN. No, it is on One Championship's YouTube channel. I will go ahead and link it uh, for those that need it. But it is One Championship's YouTube channel, just like last time. Let's see. Ref getting the mouth guards in. There we go. Round three. There we go. Hold on. Oh, wow. Good strike by Shingo at the gate. Another strike by Shingo. Hold on. Good punch there by Shingo. Oh, good elbow there by Hercules. Good lead elbow by Hercules. One, two by Shingo. Good knee by Hercules. And down goes Shingo. But they don't call it a knockdown. They call it a slip. Good elbows now for both. Good knees to the body for both. Good elbow. Good one, two, three, four, five, six for Hercules. Good counter for Hercules. Good elbow by Shingo off his back foot. Oh, man. Good elbow by Shingo. Elbow by Hercules. Hercules getting worn down here. A couple jabs for Hercules. Good elbow by Shibata. Good jab by Hercules. Good step and elbow by uh, uh, by Hercules as well. Good jab by Hercules. High kick by Hercules. Damn. Fucking landed that shit right off his back foot right there. Shingo walked right through it. Good uppercut for Shingo. Excellent uppercut. Low kick for Shingo. Double jab by Hercules. High kick by Hercules. Damn, that one leaned on the shoulder, uh, landed on the shoulder, and kind of stuck there for a little bit, almost like he killed him. Good jab by Shingo. Good hook by Shingo. Another hook by Shingo. That one missed though. Good kick to the body for Hercules as he uh, moves backwards and counters. Shingo, the one pressing forward at the moment. Good uppercut to the body for Shingo. Low kick by Shingo. Kick to the body by Hercules. Hercules slowing down. Right hand again by Shibata. Overcut by Shibata. Hook by Shibata. Overhands misses by Shibata. Good elbow for Hercules. Hercules is tired, but he's still throwing. He is gassed the fuck out. Damn, good elbow there for Shingo. Shingo was wrong. Hercules does have a chin. I don't know what he was talking about. I guess he felt like he could be the one to crack it, but not this time. As the Idaho questioning my life again at this time. Shit, definitely not the easiest time to wake up, but at least this helps wake us up. There's a good high kick for Hercules. 20 seconds to go. Palm in a high kick slapped through a little bit. It definitely did. Now Shingo goes forward. Oh, he almost walked into a lethal shot right there by Hercules. 10 seconds to go. Ref going to separate him. Shingo doesn't even throw. He just says, come on, Hercules, and that is the fight. Wow. Not a bad fight right there. That was good to watch. That was some good stuff right there. Oh, that was a nice high kick and everything. There was the beautiful high kicks by Hercules. Shingo's got a fucking chin of his own there. He was eating the high kicks. He ate the elbow. There was the nasty high kick that Shingo ate that somehow he was still alive after he ate it. There was another one right to the jawline. And somehow he ate that. These guys are crazy tough, man. Crazy tough. This one might lean Hercules. I think Hercules might take it. Might take it. 
he landed a good amount of shots. But I got to say, Hercules, Hercules is being backed up quite a bit by Shingo. I'll say that much. But I think, uh, I think Shingo maybe did enough to win this. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Hercules did enough to win it. But let's see. All three judges have scored it in favor of the winner by unanimous decision. Ah, they do give it to Hercules by decision. Hercules takes it by decision right there. Excellent, excellent. So two decisions back to back. Oh, I'm surprised the website did not update it yet, but it's all good. I got you. Celeste won the first one by decision. Hercules won the second fight by decision. And now we're going to enter into the first of two MMA fights that we have on the slate here. That was not bad. I'm going to hit the bathroom real quick, folks. I'll be right back. But I'll be back in a flash because they don't they don't fuck around with their timing. I'll be one second, everybody. Oh, hold up. There we go. All right, we are back. Back like I never left. And up next... Okay, there is some commercial right now. Let's see. Pullman Smoke, Wake and Bake. Hercules, 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 says Ann Williams. Hercules Chin, help up, uh, says Bishop. So, of course, uh, rum and blue cheese. Good, good flavor there, Pullman. Always a good one. Speaking of which, let me go ahead and get ready for this next fight uh, in the same manner. I got to say, man, one championship putting on two cards in a day, I don't remember them doing. I, I know they've done it before, but, like, it's always a rarity when they do that. It's good to see it. It's funny because the MMA fights we're going to see tonight are going to be way higher level than the ones we see on these lumpany cards every week. The lumpany MMA fights started off a little, started off a little slow, but... I think the past couple weeks is getting a little bit better. And, of course, the referees sometimes have to save a couple of them when they get a little too boring. Oh, damn. They're showing somebody's knee nearly get ripped off in one of the highlights. Holy shit. Speaking of which, I believe there's two grappling matches tonight. It's like a random one in the uh, in the prelims. And then there's that Daniel Kelly chick who I think is on like a 3-4 match winning streak, some shit like that. So I'll be later tonight. They cut back to the ring. One thing that's noticeable about Lumpany, they always darken the crowd so you can't really see the crowd. You can only see the ring. And what's funny is you can barely see the ring because they turn it blue in between the fights. So we have Brogan, Stewart, NG taking on Ricardo. Ricardo Cantoning Stag. One hell of a name. Let's see. You gotta love the yellow cards, Jay. Absolutely. The yellow cards and red cards make a big difference. 
Uh, the fact that the referees utilize them a lot more in the MMA fights means that they're really trying to press the action, which is uh, like ultimately what we want. Especially for a card like this, we need those cards to be present if the fighters are not fighting. Always got to be present if the fighters aren't fighting. And now out first we have Ricardo Cantig Stag. <laughs> One hell of a name. And it's hyphenated. I'll just call him Ricardo. UK versus Australia, okay. I don't think we've seen UK versus Australia quite yet. Oh, this motherfucker got on a jersey, a gym jersey. Crazy shit that they got these motherfuckers out in jerseys and whatnot. It's funny, it looks like he's uh, he's cut up for this. Let me see. Uh, this is at Bantamweight. Let me make sure I double check that. So it's weird. I believe their Bantamweight, yeah, it is 145. It's weird, because their Bantamweight, they always say 35, but I think it's like 10 pounds up or something like that. It's always insane what they do over there with the weight classes and everything. Especially since their hydration test, uh, their hydration testing doesn't always work. This time it did, but I find that funny, considering the MMA On Point video came out, uh, I'd say like shortly after the hydration tests for this card were done, so... Hmm. Interesting timing on that. And now from the red corner is Brogan Stewart NG. Or Ong. What's going on, Degenerate Day? And now out walks Brogan Stewart from Australia. He looks like this is his first time there, even though it isn't. Very short walk there, walkway at Lumpany, which is always nice. I believe they're going to keep the ring for the night cards as well. What's up, Gary Banjo Sandwich? Good to see you, sir. I believe they, too, are going to keep the ring for tonight, which would be which would be nice and easy. All they got to do is just clean the canvas, probably put a fresh canvas on that thing. But other than that, not too much upkeep in between events. It's pretty cool, though, that they're they're having two events in one day at the same venue. Uh, I know the card tonight, they're probably going to see a lot of the fans that are there now, plus a lot of new fans, I imagine. Probably going to be a sellout there, if I had to imagine. The one fight night card will sell out. Lumpany obviously does, because, you know, people over there just love fights, but the card tonight especially. Oh, wow. This guy applying Vaseline uh, to the face of Brogan Stewart has one of the biggest noses ever, or longest nose, I should say. I should say. Pinocchio level. Good bow there for Brogan Stewart. Let's hope that uh, let's hope that this MMA fight goes on properly. Well, it goes on properly, meaning that it ends early, because we're here for the Muay Thai. Hell, the kickboxing we know is going to be good. Kickboxing, they've only had like one kickboxing fight on these cards, and it's been stellar. So now we have three five-minute rounds. I see ring greater than cage, says Dan. Introduce first he is Ricardo Cantig Stag. And now introducing Brogan Stewart. <laughs> he looks fucking weird. Oh wow. Uh let's see. You're welcome, man. William Number two, yo, Jay, what do you think about Sanchez's lawsuit? Uh, probably going to be broken, uh, thrown out, if anything, because uh, even though Diego is right about the greasing part, uh, it wouldn't have made too much of a difference. Not sure why Trout felt like he had to do it, but unfortunately, because of the nature of the fight, it's probably going to be thrown out, because unless it directly affected the fight, he would have a case. But since he was getting his ass beat and he was noticeably... Not as fast as opponent, not as strong. I think they're just going to throw it out. Let's see, that's Herb Dean. Yeah, so I guess Herb Dean is going to be working a little early tonight. He's not waiting till tonight. He said, fuck it, I'll jump in here I'll jump in here early, get some extra money. Here we go, round one. Herb Dean overseeing this MMA fight randomly. First time we've seen him referee a fight in the Lumpany series, at least from what I can remember. Good low kick out the gate for Ricardo. Another low kick for Ricardo. Brogan just standing there. He's going to wait and bide his time. Low kick for Ricardo again.
Good, sir. Good, good use of the, uh, good use of the pressure for Ricardo, just circling his way under the inside. It was a good jab that he missed, though. Brogan finally threw his first strike of the fight. It was a high kick that whiffed. Low kick again for Ricardo. Good low kick for Ricardo again. Good high kick, though, for Brogan. Finally threw another strike. Good high kick for Brogan. Stewart. Low kick for Ricardo. And good elbow behind it. Good work so far. These two are uh, these two are throwing, but not as much as we'd like. Good high kick for Brogan. Good low kick for Ricardo. Good jab for Ricardo. High kick for Brogan. They're having a bit of a kickboxing match in the beginning. We all know Herb Dean isn't going to wait on these two to pick up the action. He's going to make sure he encourages it. There's a high kick for Brogan. Kick to the body for Brogan now. Good jab for Ricardo, even though he didn't even land it. Ricardo circling. Going to try to feint his way to the inside. Good catch of a kick from Ricardo. Brogan tried to hit him in the body. He caught that one. Ricardo then threw a kick of his own. Good kick to the body for Brogan, but it was caught, though, by Ricardo. 1-2 for Ricardo right after the kick. These two are taking their fucking time. Slowest amount of action we see so far. Nice jab for Ricardo. Like a little pop jab there. Now he just moves to the side. I'm surprised Ricardo is this light on the feet. He's waiting for he's waiting for the high kick, it seems like. Yep, there it is. High kick now for Brogan. Able to get, block it. Block the second one. Catches the kick. Throws him down. Wow, actually trips him down. Punches him. Brogan's able to get back up. That's right. It's MMA rules. Low kick for Ricardo. That could have been danger for Brogan right there. He got tripped down. I'm surprised uh, Ricardo didn't try to jump down and uh, go ground and pound on him. Catches another kick, tries to trip him. There's a three-piece right at Brogan, and they reset in the middle. Low kick for Ricardo. Ricardo now going to move the side. Gonna switch stances there. Go to the body. Couple uppercuts there for Ricardo. Good knee for Brogan. Got about a minute 45 to go. Good high kick for Brogan. Good kick to the body for Ricardo. Good catch to the kick for Brogan. And now Ricardo able to take him down. He actually tripped him there. And now Ricardo gonna stand over Brogan. Brogan's on his back, kind of fighting him off with a couple up kick, with, with uh, some up kicks. But there's a good punch for Ricardo to the body. Ricardo going to try to get past the legs here and try to land something significant. Brogan just scooting on the ground now. Oh, good left hand for Ricardo. Couple up kicks for Brogan. Just scooting around on the ground. There's a low kick for Ricardo. Herb Dean's telling him to work. Now Brogan's back up. Spinning back fist almost lands. Oh, wow. Couple jabs for Ricardo. One, two for Ricardo. Low kick for Ricardo with a hook. Good left hand for Ricardo. Another four piece for Ricardo. A little bit side to side now is Ricardo. Low kick for Ricardo, but he's countered by Brogan there. 30 seconds to go in the round. Good jab for Ricardo. Good jab. Actually, a good high kick for Brogan in response. 20 seconds to go. Brogan being the aggressor now. High kick for Brogan, but I think, I think Ricardo might have blocked it. He didn't block that one. That one landed flush, and Ricardo ate that well. 10 seconds to go. And there's the end of the round. Not bad. Not a bad round. Good first round. Let's see. Same thing I thought. Uh, he was punching bag. Didn't make any difference. Exactly. Yeah, pretty much. That's why the whole thing's going to be thrown out probably. Cold as shit here in Cali. Woke up. Snow in my yard this morning. Oh, wow. So it's snowing out there too, huh? That's crazy. We definitely got a, a, little, bit of a, a little bit of snow last night. 
Let's see. Hope you and I can both meet a big booty bitch, uh, big booty white woman in the next few days. This case, man. <laughs> oh man, nobody gets better than this woman. Hey man, you never know. Crazy world we live in. You never know what will happen tomorrow. After that round, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe lean Ricardo. Stag's doing a good job of beating and countering mainly, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to him. Not a bad round for Brogan, but I would like to see a little bit more in terms of output. Mainly just throwing the same kick over and over again, though. A kick that uh, Ricardo pretty much has telegraphed at this point. Here we go, round two. Good jab for Stag. Good low kick for Brogan. Another low kick for Brogan. That one's heavy. Low kick for Brogan as well. Lands again. It's like three back to back to back. Ricardo fainting and waiting. Another low kick for Brogan. Now a counter low kick for Ricardo. Low kick for Brogan again. Having us a low kick battle right now. It's been pretty much a kickboxing match. We saw a little bit of elements on the ground toward the end of the first round, but not not a lot of jujitsu and groundwork. Good four piece there for Ricardo. I would love for Herb Dean to warn these guys to be a little more active. I'd like to hear a little bit more from him. He's only chimed in maybe a couple times from what I can hear. Good body shots for Ricardo. Low kick for Ricardo. Oh, big low kick there for Brogan, but he hit him in the dick. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. They're keeping the clock running. Why? Why is the clock running still? Okay, they're going to let him fight. Wow, okay, they're going to let him fight. They didn't even let the clock pause there after the low blow. Low kick for Stag. Couple Double jab there for Ricardo. Oh, shit. Single leg by Brogan. Brogan with the takedown. Brogan with the takedown. Brogan takes down Ricardo. Oh, boy. Okay, Herb, we're really going to need you here just in case. Just in case. Brogan seemed like he wanted to be on the ground more than Ricardo. Ricardo's holding on for dear life. Looks like Brogan wants to stand over him, actually. Oh, shit, he's going for a leg. He does. Brogan wants an ankle lock. No! He fumbled the ankle. Had a hold of the ankle and he fumbled it. Oh, that's disappointing for Brogan right there. He's not going to feel good about himself after missing out on that chance. Good hook to the body for uh, for Ricardo. One, two for Ricardo. One, two, three for Brogan. Good jab for Brogan. Oh, look at those uppercuts for Brogan and Ricardo. It hooks to the body for Ricardo. Low kick for Ricardo. Oh, Ricardo going low for a takedown attempt. He shot for a double and Brogan said, No, sir, we're not going down when you want to. Only when I do. Oh, a couple right hands for Brogan. Rocked him. Fucking hurt him a little bit. Yeah, it hurt Ricardo a little bit. Wounded him a little bit. He has to move to the side now. Now a kick to the body for Brogan. And a three-piece. Another kick to the body for Brogan. Brogan starting to feel super confident now. Step in elbow by Brogan. Brogan with a one two. Two piece there. They break away. Double jabs for uh for Ricardo. Good knee for Ricardo. Ricardo with a slip and rip jab. Oh, good hook by Brogan. That was a clean one on Ricardo, and somehow he ate that one. Another fucking cross by Brogan. Catch of a kick by Brogan. Low kick by Ricardo. Miss. Misses. Ricardo has to move to the side. One, two now for uh, for Brogan. Damn. One, two, three, four. Now right after the hook. Brogan's on the hunt now. Brogan is on the hunt. Almost catches a kick for Ricardo. Ricardo moves to the side. Brogan with a right. Now they tie up. Good hook by, by Ricardo. One, two for Ricardo. One minute to go. Oh, good hook. Broken, just launching bombs, even though he missed like three of them. He was winding up with them, though. And he missed like a motherfucker. Now he's going low. Broken with a takedown on Ricardo. But Ricardo going for the guillotine. Ricardo going for the guillotine. Jump the guillotine. Nope. 
And now Brogan able to pop his head out. Now full guard for Brogan. No ground to pound though for Brogan so far. There are some punches now for Brogan. Oh, another punch. Another punch for Brogan. Another one. Another one. Brogan's landed on him now. Oh. Oh. Another punch for Brogan. Ricardo needs to get up, but look at Brogan. He's keeping him down. Ten seconds to go. Looks like we got some blood. Might be a little bit. I can't tell. And there's the end of the round. Oh, man. What a round. Ricardo tried to go for the fucking heel hook at the end of it, though. Not a bad round. Not a bad round. 1919, but Stewart had more powerful shot. If it's going like this, he may get KO. Yeah, he definitely might. He almost got the finish in that one. I thought he was going to get the finish on the ground there, but not quite. Very close. They're going round by round. It definitely feels like an even fight now. First round was definitely to Ricardo. Second round is going to go right toward uh, Brogan. Still got five whole minutes left to get something done. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to pull away, who's going to prove themselves as a superior fighter here. Here we go, folks. About to hit round three. Let's see. Nice punches on the ground, says Ant William. Definitely, man. Some very good ground and pound. Here we go. Round number three. Oh, nice kick to the body for Brogan. Right out of the gate. Another kick to the body for Brogan. Brogan spamming kicks to start this round out. Another kick. He's spamming him. Another one. Low kick for Ricardo to counter finally. Now Ricardo with four jabs. Oh, nice punch by Ricardo. Almost staggered Brogan there, but Brogan with a low kick. One, two for Ricardo. A couple low kicks. Good uppercut for Ricardo, but wow, look at Brogan with a nice counter. Low kick for Brogan again. Beautiful step in elbow and a right. Low kick for Brogan and a right hand behind that. Damn, kick to the body for Brogan. Nice jab for Ricardo. Good jab for Ricardo. Nice jab for Brogan. Good right hand for Brogan, but look at Ricardo. Fucking four piece right there. He was winding up with every shot he threw in that one. Even though he, I think he only landed like two of them. There was a kick that got caught. Brogan spamming these kicks heavy. Good right hand for Brogan over the top. Low kick for Brogan. Another low kick for Brogan. Kicking out the knee of Ricardo. And a one two to his face after kicking out the knee. Good jab for Brogan. Three, four piece now for Ricardo. They're tied up in a clinch. Nice elbow for Brogan. Damn. Another elbow. Another elbow. One, two for Ricardo. Brogan is fucking, he's throwing bombs on the face of Ricardo. Low kick for Brogan. Jab for Brogan. Damn. One, two for Brogan. Now they tie up. Ricardo with a knee. Good knee for Ricardo. Good jab for Ricardo. Good knee for Brogan. Another knee for Brogan. Damn. Counter by Ricardo scores. Good jab by Ricardo. Good low kick for Ricardo. Good jab for Ricardo now. Got a pair of them. One, two for Brogan though. Able to counter. Damn. Another kick right there. One, two for Brogan. High kick for Brogan. High kick for Brogan again. And now they tie up in a clinch. Elbow for Brogan. Damn. That was heavy. Right hand for Brogan. Good counter by Ricardo. They clinch up immediately. Good knee now for, uh, for Ricardo. Good hook for Ricardo. Oh, and a good takedown by Brogan. Able to have a little trip takedown right there. Fucking threw him over. And now some elbows for Brogan inside control. Actually, he's in half guard now. Almost inside. Now he's going to stand over him again. 
Throwing some ground and pound. Almost got caught in a triangle from Ricardo. But now some ground punches for Brogan are landing. The Australian might end up winning this one. Ricardo looked like he wanted to set up a triangle off the back there. But nope, he ain't going to do it. Damn, look at those fucking right hands and elbows by Brogan getting in. The ground and pound is heavy. Another right hand for Brogan. And now Ricardo takes the back. And some woman in there screamed incredibly loud as Ricardo took the back. And now Ricardo takes him down. It looked like a DDT or something. Very close to that move. And now Brogan gets his head out. Ricardo tries to get off the floor. Now we're down to a minute. Good ground punches now by, uh, by Brogan. Hammer fist by Brogan. Good elbow by Brogan. Damn, another elbow lands. Another elbow lands for Brogan. Oh, shit. He's trying to throw the legs up as Ricardo, but another ground strike by Brogan. Brogan breaks the legs away. One, two, three now by Brogan. And now Brogan going to lay on him. Closing that gap immediately. 30 seconds to go. Oh, I was about to say, Brogan looked up for a second. Oh, full mount by Brogan. Full mount. Hit him in the back of the head. Brogan hitting him in the face. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Elbow, elbow, elbow by Brogan. Another elbow, another elbow, another elbow. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 my God. Another one, another one. Herb's like, he's not dead yet. Another one. That one landed in the back of the head, and there's the fight. Herb Dean said, I want you to kill him before I stop it. Wow. And kill him he did. Boom, says Gary. Absolutely. My goodness. Not a bad fight right there. We've seen worse MMA fights. That actually wasn't bad. Pounding the shit out of him. He did. Brogan got this round's palm, and I think so too. Brogan got the round and the fight right there. Pounding the shit out of him. Says, hey, wait, he did it, bro. Of course, in Herb Dean style, he wanted to make sure the guy was dead before stopping. He's like, nah, keep on hitting him. He's not dead yet. <laughs> Jesus, that, gr that ground and pound something else, man. Ricardo going to be feeling that for a while. Now we're going to go to the judges after that. Let me switch to, I believe, kickboxing rules next. I think it's kickboxing rules next. Let's see. There we go. So they're still tallying the scores. There we go. So they're still tallying the scores right now. I'm thinking that Brogan takes this one. I'm thinking Brogan takes it. It was very close. Uh, 19 night. It was pretty much one round apiece heading into the third round. Uh, but I think Brogan did enough to win it right there. Let's see. Herb, five bull Ds. <laughs> you got that right. Wow, they're taking forever for the judge's decision. Don't do some weird shit now. There's not a TIE fighter involved, so shouldn't be too much corruption. But here we go. Judges now. All three judges in favor of the winner by unanimous decision. Ah, Brogan Stewart. Bro Brogan Stewart Ung. He remains undefeated. What was his record before this? 1 and 0. Now he's 2 and 0. So folks, two fights down. We had a TKO there by Hansen. We had a decision win by Hercules, and now we have a decision win by Brogan Stewart. Right call says Aunt William, I agree. Up next, it is kickboxing between Elias uh hold on. Actually no wait. Lightweight kickboxing first. Uh, Bogdan Shumarov from Bulgaria versus a guy from Tunisia and Marwin uh, Howley. I guess is Huli. So Marwin versus Bogdan. Bulgaria versus Tunisia. This should be a good one. Then we have a we have a bantamweight kickboxing bout. So we did have another one. 
Uh, I believe Lias is a former champion, actually, former Bantamweight champion in one. I could be wrong. Like, not MMA champ, but kickboxing champ. So they're bringing a former champ back uh, in the next fight. Well, in the fight after this one, anyway. And let's see. Indeed, says Pullman. Oh, yeah. They definitely got that one right. I got to say, this is not a bad card. So this is what we got left. We have three fights down. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight fights left, three fights down. So 11 fights in total. Now we have Bogdan, Bogdan Shumanov, or Shermanov. No, Shumarov, my bad, not Shumanov, Shumarov. Bogdan Shumarov walking out to the ring right now. And then we have Marvin Howley walking out next. What's up, ADFG? He says, yes, so early. Oh, God, it's a small one. Oh, it's small one. The day is just beginning, my friend. We still have this going on tonight. We have uh, one fight night on Amazon Prime. So, yeah, we get a morning card, and then we get a prime card later on tonight. Featuring names like John Lineker and Andraj. We have Tawanchi defending the Muay Thai Championship. We have Martin Wynn, Sam Pet Fairtex, Danny King, uh, Danielle Kelly, and then Andre Stosia to kick off the main card. But, yeah, man. We're, we're starting bright and early with this one. The day is young, says Gatesman. It is indeed. It is indeed. This is only part one. Today may as well be one championship day. It may as well be national one championship day to all of us fight fans because we're getting fucking two cards in one day on some wild shit. 5.48 a.m. says Aunt William. 2.43 p.m. here says Pullman. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's only 8.43 in the morning, actually, where I am. So I'm about three hours ahead of Aunt William. It's bright and early for me. See, two cards by one, so epic, so small. And absolutely, brother, absolutely. Two cards, one day, it don't get any better than that. One championship given back to its fans. They cater to the to the, to the the morning crowd, and then this Friday, they're like, fuck it, let's give the, uh, let's give the, uh, the nighttime fans something to cheer for as well. Cheers, everybody. So, Marwin Howley is out in the ring first. Bogdan Shumarov is second. One champ day. Yes, sir. It should be national one champ today. It should be that way, considering all the action we're getting. Let's see. The Netherlands. All good. Hell yeah, man. The Netherlands is chilling right now. I think by the time it'll be nighttime here, I know it's going to be like laid out there, but hey, at least at least they're getting in. At least you guys can see one card at a good time. It's crazy because we have a lot this weekend. We have Bellator. Uh, we have uh, Bellator and UFC tomorrow at the same time. Uh, and then we have uh, Jake Paul, Tommy Fury on Sunday. So it's, it's a busy weekend around here, man. Two one cards a day. Bellator UFC on at the same time tomorrow. And then, of course, Paul Fury Sunday. It's it's going to be a crazy weekend this weekend. We have... Okay, so we in order. This is tonight, of course, after the card we're doing now. And then tomorrow, Bellator Dublin and the UFC, UFC Vegas, both start at the same time. This is 11.30 a.m. because that's the prelims, but the main card starts at 4 o'clock, same time as UFC. And then this Sunday, we have Jake Paul and Tommy Fury, which is at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Last they updated, so we'll be live for that as well. So, yeah. One of the better fight weekends we have in the entire year. And then, of course, next weekend, John Jones returns, uh, which will be an excellent way to kick off February. And actually, actually, kick off March. And March has some pretty good UFC main events coming up. But here we go, folks. We now have both of our fighters in the ring for our kickboxing fight. Let's see. Introducing first is uh, Marwin Howley. Let's see how they pronounce it. Malwin. Oh, it's Malwin Huli. Okay. Malwin Huli. Let's see. How much is the Paul Fury fight? 
Um, I saw it's on ESPN Plus, but I'm not sure the exact price. Probably going to be 50, 60 bucks, I had to guess. Representing Bulgaria is Bogdan Shumarov. Oh, you got Spain or, Span or Krylov. Uh, probably going to lean, um, probably going to lean Krylov there, but it should be a good fight nonetheless. I'm going to lean Krylov only because he has, he has... He has pretty. He has good enough stand up to where he can introduce the ground game, and he loves to go to the ground. Where I know Span is not a big fan of that, so I'm gonna lean Krylov. Here we go, round number one. If Span were to get a win, though, that'd be big for him. He could be in a. He could be a contender with a win like that, or at least a contender awaiting. It's a good one-two out the gate for uh, Howley. Shimerov with a nice combo, but Huli now with a nice step in there. Huli with a nice step in knee. Nice one, two, three for Huli. Shimarov with a nice hook to the body. Good kick to the body for Huli. Good step in knee for Huli. Shimarov complaining about it. Let's see. Palmer says, I got spin. Definitely not a bad pick. I would not buy that shit, Sam William. Oh, yeah. I don't think. I, I, I have a hard time finding anybody that would, and it's no surprise considering. Nice step in knee for Huli. Nice kick to the body for Shimarov. For Shimarov. Nice kick to the body for Huli. Nice jab to the body for Shumarov. Oh, Shumarov with a nice overhead. He just rocked Huli. Damn. Huli had to hold onto the ropes just to stand up. Five, six, seven, eight. Huli with the gloves up. Ref's going to let him fight on. Huli got fucking wounded right there. Another hook. Another one, two, three, four. Oh! Shumarov just knocked Huli the fuck out. Oh, my God. He went stiff and went limp. He is out. Oh, my God. He fucking flatlined him. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Let's see. Right hand. Oh. That was the one that rocked him. Here's the kill. Oh, shit. Oh, his head bounced off the middle rope when he fell. Oh, my God. That was a violent fall. Look at this right hand over the top. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, that is that is wild. Oh, my God. Whew. That is the best knockout on the card so far. Holy shit. Damn. Oh my god. Winner by way of knockout Shumarov. Oh boy. Fucking hell. Beautiful knockout by Shumarov. He put him in a coffin. He put Huli in a coffin in one round. Oh, my God. He killed that man. Absolutely killed him. Beautiful, beautiful headshot. Man. Let's see. Freaking brutal. Oh, shit. Boom. KO. I still want to see it. Oh, yeah. Everybody's going to watch it for free. Definitely. Oh, we feel like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Wake up. We shall see it. Uh, let's see. A sack of potatoes. Maybe a sack of crap. <laughs> Uh, guy traveled to heaven before you dropped out, says Matara. <laughs> you took a full-on trip to heaven, man. My goodness. Oh, that was that was nasty. That was easily the best knockout we've seen on the card. And probably one of the best kickboxing knockouts I've seen in one in a while. We've seen some good ones. Like, you know, obviously Alizov over Superbon. And, of course, Superbon over Gregorian and a lot of other good ones. But that's up there, man. Holy shit. That man fell like a tree that had been chopped down. Fuck, man. That That is as beautiful as it gets right there. That is as beautiful as it gets. And up next, we have a former champion in Ilias uh, Enichai. Ah, they gave him the bonus. There we go. 350000 Thai dollars. 350,000 bot. That motherfucker's gonna be... He's gonna live like a king for a while out there. Holy shit. 
Ah, uh, he wants the he said he wants the fifty grand next show. He wants to be put on a big card where they give out the fifty thousand dollar ones. Oh man. That is a beautiful, beautiful knockout worthy of a bonus. You gotta give him to that. Sally Francis really gonna fight Wilder, lol. Probably Francis needs to get something done soon. It's been it's been a long time since he's fought. Let's see, is, is it rain it is raining bonuses? <laughs> That man felt like I fell for all the dumb sluts back in the day. It's this case, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Absolutely insane, man. That is that is just a beautiful, beautiful knockout. And by the way, from what I understand, is that the only MMA fight that we just saw earlier? Yes, it is. Because it looks like we have kickboxing. Adam Way Muay Thai. I don't think we've seen Adam Way fighters fight yet on these cards. Maybe once or twice. Flyweight, the Premier Division, catch weight, another Adam weight, another catch weight, another flyweight. Oh shit! I don't. Hey, I don't mind that at all. Only one MMA fight. I'll take it. I will gladly take that. And technically, it's supposed to be a bathroom break fight for a bathroom break fight. That was pretty entertaining right there. I was happy with that. I gotta say, man, one knows how to deliver these cards. It's funny because you would think having weekly cards like this would be a challenge for them, but it just goes to show how deep their rosters are. Even the guys that we don't know and we're learning about from the different combat sports that one has, you can see they fucking bring it. We don't know them, but these guys are killers. And if these guys, of course, make a big name for themselves on these types of cards, we'll be seeing them fight on Amazon Prime. We're gonna see Tawanchi... Uh, fight tonight on Amazon Prime. Speaking of Muay Thai, right now he is the lightweight king at Mo of Muay Thai is Tawanchi. And he'll be fighting Jamal Yusupov. This one's going to be a very good fight, man. A very good fight. It's the only Muay Thai fight we get tonight. Uh, and speaking of kickboxing, we get two kickboxing fights tonight. Let's see, two of those. Wait, let me see the earlier fights. Okay, it's just grappling and two MMA. Okay, so nothing nothing to really write home with there. But let's see, two kickboxing, Muay Thai championship, two MMA bouts, one grappling bout. Actually, three if you count the title fight. So yeah, just one Muay Thai fight tonight, but still, that's pretty good because you still get the kickboxing as we just saw. One championship's kickboxing still brings the violence and the knockout, so yay. Can't, can't blame, hey, I can't blame one right there. If anything, I got to praise one, because that's an amazing lineup. Except they had 300 pounds, more to give. <laughs> Fat girls need love, too, says I know. <laughs> you ever get with a chubby girl, and she can't give a head, like, what are you good for, <laughs> says uh, Idaho. Oh, man. I wish they had shown that one to YouTube. But that's funny. Alex says, indeed, indeed. And by the way, I believe Ilias was champion. Let me see if they actually have his stats, though. Let me see. I got to go up a little bit. Ilias. Yeah, where do they have it? Let's see. Oh, wow. They don't even have Ilias listed here. <laughs> wow. So, uh, fucking uh, Tapology doesn't even have the right lineup. Let's see if we get something here. Okay, let's see. 26, blah, blah, blah. Three wins, zero losses, and one. He beat Superlek by decision, beat Pechadon by decision, and beat Wang by decision. And let's see. Finishing rate. One finish. Three wins, three total bouts. Okay, so not bad for it. old Elias there. Let me see. Let me see about the other guy. Anything about him? Nothing. <laughs> So he must be he must be the guy that has something to prove then if they don't even have any stats on him. Let's see, I hope he's still fighting. <laughs> now we're looking at oh yeah, they're talking about Ilias trying to get the belt back again. Three and oh. How is he still not Champski? That is a good question. Uh they either have a fight in his record that they didn't record, like didn't put down like his title loss. Or maybe he had to vacate it due to injury or something like that. At least that'd be my guess. 
So it's either a vacated belt, like had to vacate, or uh, his record is not, obviously record not complete, but uh, I think the website might be missing a fight, but we will find out in a minute, of course. Funny enough, he, uh, let's see, wait, Aliasgar, I was about to say Alaga- Madagascar, or Alagascar, but Aliasar is walking out first. Don't ask me to pronounce that last name, because that's, that's not going to happen. It's like God Radisarakan, or Saraskan, or wait, God Radisarakan, Jesus, that's too long. Too long of a name. I'm going to have to go with the first name right there. His first name ain't even that easy to pronounce either. Is Stamp Fighting. No. She's not fighting until uh, the Denver card in May. So, no, Stamp's not on this card. Or the one tonight. She won't be fighting until, uh, I think, May. Uh, the Fight Night in Denver, I think, is her next car, uh, her next fight. So, we got like two months for that. Unfortunately, it would be nice to have Stamp fight uh, fighting tonight. That'd be pretty cool. Even though I think because they had her on the last... I think because they had her on the last Prime card, they gave her some time off. And now Aligasar is inside of the ring. Let's see, you did a great job of pronouncing it. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I still got it wrong, but eh, close enough, right? Close enough. And now Ilias, the former chap, walks out. She finna hit us with a stab dance in Denver, says Skatesman. Absolutely. I forgot. I think she's fighting that Mexican woman or something. That I forgot that one lady. I think she's from, like, uh, Holland or something. But she's supposed to fight an opponent that pulled out recently against her. Uh, they finally rebooked the fight. I'll find out who it is in a minute. Her moves are legendary, says Alex. Absolutely. Can't beat it. And here comes Ilias wearing the Moroccan flag. Moroccan kickboxers are very scary people. Very scary people. He's taking out some names now. Took out Pompeyek. Oh, no, Superlek, excuse me. Did take out Superlek. Let's see. What is that cornerman saying to him? Saying some weird shit. See, Jay, bro, digging that fly ass polo. You wearing like the black on the grade. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's funny, this is definitely more of the polo, like the button-up polo vibe, no doubt about it, so appreciate it. It's going to be a long day at work, but I have a feeling it's going to go by quick, and then literally right when I get off work, I'm going to have enough time for like a shower, a cup of coffee, and maybe dinner before I got to go right back live again. I'll probably jump back on to 7.30, I set it for 7, but I'll probably go 7.30 to give myself a little more time. What's going on, Sparks? Great to see you, Sparks. Yes, sir. Getting faded watching fights. We hate sleep. You know, you got that right, brother. Right now, one Friday fights. You know the vibes. You know the vibes, my friend. One Friday fights like we've been doing for the past, uh, now six Fridays in a row. And then, of course, tonight, we got the big one here with Lineker uh, defending his belt in the rematch. We got Tawan Chi defending his Muay Thai belt. And then we have names like Martin Wynn, Sam Petch, Danny Kinga, Daniel Kelly, and Andre Stosia to give us some additional violence on the night. A lot of coffee, says Teddy. Yes, sir. A lot of coffee. Great to see you, by the way, Teddy. Let's see. Cough, cough, butter. Ron K. Boxes may have severe mental issues as well, like butter, <laughs> says Kate Smith. Oh, man. You ain't lying there. But yeah, Teddy, it's a coffee type weekend, my brother. Two one cards today, Bellator UFC tomorrow, and then Paul and Fury on Sunday. Whew, it's going to be nonstop action. And then, of course, John Jones returns next weekend. Elias introduced first. On FC, like, uh, love like pride and stuff. They do, bro. They even have, like, a... Uh, like a like a wish version of Lenny Hartit to give the intros here, but they don't show her. She might be in the bathroom doing it, or she just might be in her fucking bed doing the intros. Either that, or they have some, like maybe some recorded voice, like pre-recorded voices playing over the loudspeaker. Survival of the Illus of Sparks, you got that right. And Lee is now introduced. Ella Hanche or Ena Hanche. 
Eliasgar and Ilias. Eliasgar and Ilias. This is going to be a crazy, crazy uh, time pronouncing these names, but hey, it's going to be a good fight. We got Iran versus the Netherlands slash Morocco, mainly Morocco. I'm going to say Morocco for Ilias since that's the flag he walked out with. Here we go. Ali Eskar. With a nice jab out the gate. Oh, nice high kick for Ali Eskar. <clears throat> Low kick for Ilias. Nice push kicks out the gate for Ilias. Ali Gascar just standing there. Good kick to the body for Ilias. High kick for Ilias, but a good hook for Ali Gascar. Look at Ilias already. Ilias already on the attack. Alagascar with a high kick, but he gets caught by Ilias. And a nice counter by uh, Ilias. Good jab for Alagascar. Body kick for Alagascar. Swinging for the fences. And look at the one-two by Ilias. Like I said, folks, even the kickboxing delivers. Body hook shot now for Alagascar. High kick for Alagascar. Straight jab for Alagascar. Good hook to the body for Alagascar. Man, these guys are all gas, no brakes. The way we like it. Good jab and a push for Ali Gascar. Good hook to the body for Ilias. No, oh, nice hook to the body for Ilias, but a nice counter for Ali Gascar. Oh, right hand for uh, Ilias. Misses. Low kick for Ali Gascar. 1-2 for Ali Gascar. Jab to the body for Ali Gascar. Switches stances now with Ilias. Body shot, make that body drop. You got that right, bro. Nice push kick for Ilias, and he drops Ali Gascar, but they call it a push because it was a, it was basically a teep to the body. Teep kick to the body that put him down. Good uppercut to the body for Ilias. Good kick to the body for Ali Gascar. Red line rush hour, all gas, no breaks. We're seeing you in Denver. Uh, let's see, we're seeing you in Denver. Oh shit, right hand for Ilias and a good knee for Ilias, I mean for Ali Gascar. I know you're ready for the storm. Northwest about to get blasted with snow. I know, right? They're about to get some of the snow that uh, I think we're going to be getting this weekend, sometime this weekend. Good high kick for Ali Gascar. Good hooks to the body for Ilias. Another hook to the body for Ilias. Like a hook and an uppercut to the body. Big left hand for Ali Gascar. Ref says, continue on. Good uppercut for Ilias. Almost landed a hook. Almost landed a hook, but he popped the head back of Ali Gascar there. So he didn't complete the combo. He thought he killed him. Good high kick for Ilias. Another switch high kick for Ilias. Nice one-two for both. Ali Gascar and Ilias. Ilias switching stances. Ten seconds to go. Nice team to the body. Oh! Ali Gascar just threw him over. He gave that boy a judo throw. What the fuck? Timeout. Ali Gascar threw that man over like it was judo. Only one warning is going to give him for that, bro. That's a yellow card. What the fuck? He threw that man like it was judo. You can't do that shit in kickboxing. There's the end of the round. Wow. Why? Why would he do that? That, that was a wild throw right there. <laughs> Let's see. Think about not going to work today. I got to work uh, a roof today. I don't think it's happened. <laughs> Say I don't bake out. You might have to do it. LOL is Michael Jordan. Good judo, but not a lot of kickboxing. He says, Paul, I'm full on, man. Wow. He literally judo threw that man. And, the ref and yeah, like you said, Cost was pissed off. I can't believe he fucking did that. That man went... Ugh. He said, get your ass to the floor. <laughs> oh, man, that was a while. Wow. Right, what's going on, AJ? Oh, man, chicanery of foots is sparks. You got that right. Man, oh, man, they get done working on the corners. Good work from the two. Olivier Cost tells him, get off the stool. Man, I can't believe we saw a judo throw in a fucking kickboxing fight. Here we go, round two. Come on, ref. There we go. 
He was waiting on Allegascar there for some reason. Now Ilias and Allegascar are right back at it. I got to give that first round to Ilias. Ilias gets my gets the first round from me. Good dig to the body for Ilias. Now a low kick for Allegascar. Low kick for Ilias. Damn! One two for Ilias and a nice knee. Oh shit! Spinning back fist miss for Ili. I mean for Allegascar. Good uppercut there for Allegascar. Oh shit! Oh right there for Allegascar. Over the top. Nice body kicks for Ilias now. These guys are just, they're throwing home run shots right now. They're trying to swing for the fences. Good body shot there for Ali Gascar. Good body shot for Ali Gascar. I mean, for uh, Ilias, my bad. That was for Ilias. Now Ilias is like, come on, throw something at me. Goes for a flying shot. Counters him, does Ali Gascar. Ilias is like, come on, man, don't back away from me. Oh, and Ali Gascar goes down. Beautiful body shot for Ilias. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. It's over. Elias puts down Ali Gascar. Down goes Ali Gascar. Beautiful. Beautiful KO. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was that fucking hook, man. It was that hook. Oh, yeah, that hook caught his ass. Ali Gascar, ooh, that was a speeding hook, folks. That was a speed hook. Holy shit. Whoo! It popped him, man. Elias caught him with a... Ooh! Yeah, he got him on the jaw with a fucking speed hook. I thought it was a body shot. I thought it was a body shot. No, that was a speed hook to the jaw, man. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Holy shit, he didn't want any more after that. He got, on the slow motion replay, he got hit right on the jaw, and he fucking fell. I think Fractures is ADFG. It might be. He definitely hurt something on him. He hurt something on him, because that was a flash one right there. That was a quick, quick fucking punch, and then he fell down. See, late reaction. Oh, yeah. That was a late reaction KO right there, man. Ilias fucking, he destroyed him. He systematically destroyed that man. Why did Gloves so big to Sparks? That is an excellent question. That was an excellent question. I wonder why they got they gave him the big ass gloves and one. They gave him the kickboxing joints, bro. The jaw, you right, Jay. Oh yeah. Yeah, I had to see the replay of it, but yeah, he caught that man on the jaw and fucking Alagascar's like, fuck that. No more. Kickboxing. Let's see, but great point. Yeah. They should have the... I've seen some kickboxing fights in one where they did have the small gloves. So I'm kind of surprised it didn't happen here. I think they negotiated. Uh, but yeah, they usually... I, I guess for one, they're like, ah, eh, for Muay Thai, small gloves, kickboxing, big gloves. I don't know why. Yeah, let's see. What the fuck's up with the big gloves? I made fact of the day. Boss Rutan lost three fights in a row by submission. Finally studies the ground and goes 20 and 0, says Alex. That's pretty awesome. Thought we were breaking grounds with Sparks. I thought we were too. I thought one championship was going to give these guys the smaller four ounce gloves like they used to for some kickboxing fights. But I guess they're like, ah, we're going to stick with the big ones. I'm surprised by that. At least it's not big on the Muay Thai. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised that uh, they give the kickboxers such big fucking gloves. By the way, I'll be right back. I'm going to go hit the bathroom real quick. Right, we are back. Let's see, though we're breaking ground precisely, Jay. These curses, Sparks. You ain't lying, man. 
I thought they would be ready for the four ounce gloves in fucking kickboxing, but like you said, man, they're scared of it for some reason. I don't know why one championship's a little scared of it. Let's see. You ain't good 20 to know. They rob Randall Vince, escapesman. Don't be scared. Says AJ. Randall man was shit RIP. First time I met Boss, he punched me in the stomach, but he was kidding. He says that way. It's funny. He does have that same humor. I remember seeing that when he took down uh, Overeem jokingly. Let's see, Randall Miss Staff Effect is still the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that was pretty wild. That definitely was wild. Cheers, by the way, everybody. Let's see, boy had holes through his body. He says Gatesman. Absolutely. And now we are back from our commercial break just like that. And folks, this is what we got left. It's all Muay Thai after this, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flyweight Muay Thai, catchweight Muay Thai, atom weight, catchweight, flyweight, and atom weight to kick things off. Kong Thorne and Jin Select. Sounds like ginseng. Uh, in the, let's see, in the main event. Let's see, that's why you don't do crazy amounts of rights, kids, the skatesman. Jay about to operate heavy machinery after this. I wish. Unfortunately, I'll be sitting in an office for the next seven hours after this. And then, of course, I'll be rushing home so I can watch the Amazon Prime card tonight. Which will be pretty cool. Can't wait to see that. Let's see, do you see a new tie announcer? Too skinny, too skinny for his suit. <laughs> He's actually very well spoken. He is. It's funny because you you can tell he's used to wearing like gym clothes his whole life. Definitely hasn't worn he hasn't he hasn't worn too many suits in his day. That's for damn sure. There's a guy whose name is Seafood. No way. Wow, that's funny. Let's see. Yadoy, uh, Chok D, uh, Padsuk, and Joan or Joan. Oh, I think he's Johan, yeah. Uh, Patsinkom Yachi Seafood. <laughs> I guess the C- the Yachi Seafood name's a sponsor. Uh, Nantai. Uh, let's see. Kunselek Budekski. Uh, Boom Dexon. And then Coco Sora Sumai. Oh, God. Uh, Pentami. And then. Kun Harlek, or Kun Harlek, and then of course Jin Select and Kong Thari. Crazy fucking names. That seafood one. That's got to be a sponsorship of some type. I hope he wins. I love me some seafood. As a Maryland guy, of course I love the Maryland crabs, but I love all seafood though. Let's see. Jay doing work for us today. Oh, absolutely, man. He's doing very well. Seafood place watching the gym. Oh, yeah. But yeah, putting in that work today. You ain't lying there, Alex. Obviously, we're doing one Friday fights right now. We still have this beautiful card later on today. Prelims start at 7. I'm going to go live at 7.30 just to give myself a little more time to prepare after work. Uh, by the time I'm home, though, it'll be like maybe like 5, 30, 6 o'clock. At least that'll be my goal. Uh, and then we're going to jump right into this card. Of course, those three are post limbs. I don't know why they have them as that, but they're prelims, really. And then, of course... Kicking things off is actually a heavyweight kickboxing fight. Hold on, let me show you guys that. Between Stosia and uh, Ja. Then, of course, we have a grappling match in our second one with Danielle Kelly. We go to our first MMA bout of the night. Only three of them on the card tonight with Danny Kingod. We have Sam Petch Fairtex. Uh, giving us a nice kickboxing fight. I imagine we're going to get a knockout on that one. Martin Wynn finally has an opponent after, I think, his first two opponents fell out. Uh, Tawanchi defends the lightweight Muay Thai championship tonight against Jamal Yusupov. And then, of course, in the main event, John Lineker and Fabricio De Andrade run it back. And hopefully this time we'll have a winner and not another fight that ends in a no contest. Let's see. ESPN take notes. The pacing leaves much to be desired. <laughs> Oh man, come train, get a black guy, have a nice cold fish to ice it down, genius. <laughs> so small. <laughs> oh man, relax and take notes. 
Uh, let's see. Whoa, who is this tiny Asian guy who's fighting? Do they slap some temp tattoos on some kids? <laughs> Probably did. Take a note to the notes in the chat. Says AJ, oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke, says Sparks. And now we have Chokdi walking out. Actually, no, it's Yachty. Chokdi's already in the ring. And now we have a guy named Yachty who has the same green hair. Or at least he's consistent. Same green hair. And by the way, yeah, Chokdi looks like he's about like 13 going on 30 maybe. <laughs> Same with this guy. This motherfucker's got some... He's got some interesting-looking hair on him. I guess you gotta stand out in any way you can. He looks like he's gonna be stronger than the other guy, too. Let's see. You wanna choke? What's up, Brandon V? Jake, what's good? Great to see you, Brandon V. I hope you're doing well. Let's see. Anytime you're in the Asian market, it's always two Asian men throwing fish back for us. This case, man. Pullman at 1 a.m. The stream from tonight starts over here. Probably not make it, but I can watch one or two fights so I'm complete passed out. Uh, but we'll see. Hell yeah, Pullman. I figured I figured this would be the perfect day for a lot of people because my international friends can watch like this card at a good hour if they're not able to catch the prime card. You know what I mean? And then, of course, the American audience can catch the prime card since I know a lot of them are asleep during this hour. But hey... I'm glad I was able to get you for at least one of them, Pullman. At least tonight, you know, we'll, we'll see how far you go. But I will say, though, maybe the action will be good enough to help you stay awake. But we shall see. Let's see, Pullman, be strong. Drink energy freaks. We have faith in you, Pullman. This is AJ, no doubt. Spark up, smooth down, says Sparks. You know it, brother. And now we have Yachty inside of the ring. Cheers, everybody. stuff so this guy has a 50 50 and 15 record does shock day shock day has a 50 and 15 record haven't seen dre drink energy drinks uh well i have my coffee already my coffee's gone so well, once i hit that i was pretty good and now we have yadi what is his record what's i kickboxing record of 55 and 14 oh shit 55 out of 14. So, yeah, these guys got the fucking deep records. Oh, here we go. And now Yadoi raises his hand to greet the audience. It gives him a nice reception. And here we go. Oh, wait a minute. We got the Y crew, the y crew for this? Hmm. So now they're both going to dance a little bit. Okay, somebody's going to die. Whenever we hear this song and these two start praying, someone's going to die. Now they're both praying. Is my man burying his opponent already before the fight even starts? <laughs> oh, boy. Usually when you hear this song, that means someone's going to die. And they're praying right next to each other. We don't see this often. Usually the other two fighters are away. These two are right up on each other. That means they really don't give a fuck. One man's bowing in the corner. I believe Shock D is, is uh, doing a dance in his corner. And he bows. Okay, yeah, someone's going to die here. Here we go. Somebody get the shovels. I think we're going to bury somebody. They're going to touch gloves. And here we go. Round number one. The crowd is actually on their feet. They sound alive for this. You're right, it is two main events. It's like they're one Friday fight main event and then the one lumpany main event. They kind of do it like that. They call their prelims, I think, Friday fights, and I think their main card, one lumpany or something like that. Now they take off the uh, traditional uh, uh, headwear. Come on, ref. Come on, round one. Round one. They touch gloves. This is at Adam weight, which is at 105, but for them it's probably like 115 or something. Oh, nice low kick out of Kate for Chuck D. Low kick for Yachty. One, two for Yachty. Oh, right here for Yachty. Yachty with a low kick. Nice low kick for Shock D. Or Choke D. Choke D with a low kick. One, two for Yachty. 
Nice knee for Yachty. Ref going to jump in there, separate him. Shock D with the hands up. Nice teep kick for Shock D. Or Choke D. Choke D with a low kick. 1-2 for Yachty. Choke D with a 1-2. One, with a one two. Right after he missed it. Low kick for Chalk D. 1-2 for Yachty. 1-2-3 for Yachty. They tie up. Good knee though for Chalk D. Oh shit. Oh, these guys are fuck. These guys are, are gonna fucking murder each other. The way they're throwing. Damn, one two for Yachty! Another one two for Yachty. He almost cornered Shakti there. Shakti with a teep to the body. Low kick for Yachty. Couple punches for Yachty and a nice counter for Shakti. Nice jab and an uppercut there for Yachty. Good jab for Yachty. Oh, one two for Yachty. Backing him up. Good step up knee there for Shakti. Shakti's like fuck this shit. You ain't gonna bully me, damn it. Chakti with a 1-2. Yachty missed with his punch. Good kick to the body for Yachty. Good body shot for Yachty. Oh, Chakti just rock Yachty. He rock Yachty. Yachty is wounded. Yachty had to back up after getting rocked. Oh, jab for Yachty. Oh, jab for Chakti. 1-2 for Chakti. 1-2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yachty's wounded. Yachty is wounded. He's running away trying to get down. Oh, oh, big knee now for Chakti. Chakti's cornering him. Shakti's cornering him like a wounded animal. Low kick for Shakti. I don't know how Yachty survived that shit. He ain't gonna have much longer though if he keeps getting hit on the chin like that. Yachty with a couple of rights. He blasted him right in the damn chin and rocked him. Low kick by Yachty. He's gotta fight his way back in this round here. He's gotta be careful too. Damn, he almost tripped fucking throwing a kick right there. Ooh, good jab by Shakti. Shakti with another right hand. Oh, kicking a punch there by Yachty. Oh, good punch by Shakti. Three, four by Shakti. Body kick by Shakti. Jumping knee by Shakti. He is punishing Yachty right now. Nice teep to the body. Ten seconds to go. Shakti just stole this damn round. I don't know how Yachty is still standing up. Ooh, one two again by Shock. He backs up Yachty big time. Wow. Yachty is somehow able to make it back to his corner. Holy shit. Beautiful punches, man. Beautiful punishment right there. Let's see. Whoa, good chin. Uh pass. Reasonable. Beautiful camera ankles. Is that a mere cut? Uh when my dad was growing up at loud at age fourteen. Oh wow. I did not know alcohol was like that over there. Or the laws, anyway. Beautiful camera angles, definitely. Man, what a round right there. Gonna have to give that one to Shakti, though. He hurt Yachty bad. I'm, su I'm surprised Yachty was able to survive the round like that. Savage first round, so small, and it was, man. I don't know how Yachty is, is, is still awake. Or how he's even able to talk. Let's see, now the corners are out. Come on, ref. Got him in the center. Round two. Good. One, two now by Yachty. One, two by Yachty again. Nice teep by Shakti. Nice body kick by Shakti. Damn, one, two by Yachty. Nice counter by Shakti. Another one, two by Yachty. Good body kick by Yachty. Good jab by Yachty. One, two by Shakti. Good knee by Yachty. Another knee by Yachty. And a good one by Shakti. Shakti with a good uppercut to the body now. And now the ref breaks him apart. Oh, now Yachty knocks down Shakti, but the fucking rope saved him. Shakti was saved by the ropes. Yachty just fucking, oh, he hurt him bad. Now Shakti's the one backing up. Good hook by Yachty. Good kick to the body by Shakti. Good knee by Yachty. Holy shit. How is Yachty still alive? This is crazy. Good jab by Yachty. He's now back on the hunt. Body shot. Good elbow by Shakti. Yachty with a low kick. Good jab by Shakti. Uppercut by Shakti, but Yachty with a low kick. Damn, Yachty eats one right to the side of the head. Good elbow by Shakti. Good elbow again by Shakti. Good jab by Yachty. 
Good knee by Yachty right to the body. The ref says fights. Good jab by Yachty. Good elbow there by Shakti. Elbow by Shakti there. Good kick to the body by Shakti. Good elbow by Yachty. God damn. Another elbow by Yachty. Good right hand by Shakti. Elbow by Yachty scores again. Kick to the body by Shakti. Shakti with a right. Man, these guys are made of metal. What the fuck? Neither one wants to fall down. Neither one wants to go down. Good jab by Yachty. Yachty with a jab and an uppercut. Good knee by Yachty. Oh. Now they're stepping in. Ref says fight. Good uppercuts to the body by Yachty. Now the ref going to jump in there, separate him. Nice push kick there by Shakti. Oh, shit. Good right hand by Yachty. Good knee by Shakti. Good punch by Yachty. Oh, good jab. Fucking Yachty now going to try to corner him. Both exchanging kicks. Both exchange punches. They clinch up immediately. The ref is trying to get his damn knee in there. Fuck. How are these two still standing? Ten seconds. Good elbow for Yachty. Now the ref getting his damn knee in between in between the two to separate him. And now Yachty ends around pressing forward, but neither one throws a strike. Man, what a round. What a round. Let's see. Rope saved him. The haircut. Oh. Uh, let's see uh, what clean ropes they are. Where's Uncle Creed when you need to bleed all over the ropes against the skatesman? I know, right? Haven't seen him in a while since that happened. See, so Sparks, four outs, or fuck off. Even their needle is made of metal. Ladies at Lumpany are wild. Are they ladies? <laughs> I would I certainly would hope so. I would hope so. Scores, Jay? Uh, I would say an even round now. Shakti, Shakti got the first uh, round by a knockdown. Uh, well, by an almost knockdown. And Shakti just came back after that. So I would say one to one. 19 to 19 apiece, in my opinion. I got to say, that was a great round for Yachty. The fact that he has Shakti hurt, that helped big time. That got him right back into this. So now the third round is anybody's fight. One round apiece. Here we go, round three. One round apiece. Good left hand by Shakti. Nice return fire by Yachty. Now they clinch up immediately. Separate. The ref separated with some finally. It took him five years to separate him. Nice knee by Yachty. Good left hand. Good knee, though, by Shakti. And Shakti throws him to the ground. He just muscles him. He's like, get the fuck off me. Yachty going to walk forward again. Nice one, too, by Yachty. Shakti with a kick to the body. Yachty doesn't care. He's still walking forward, but he's eating punishment now. Good body shot for Yachty, though, in the exchange. Good jab by Shakti. High kick by Yachty. Almost gets caught in the ropes. Low kick by Yachty. As Shakti throws a high kick. Nice one, too, by Shakti. Good jab by Shakti. Good kick to the body by Yachty. Good return fire by Shakti. Now they tie up. Fucking Shakti had him in a headlock there. Good jab by Shakti. Good right hand by Yachty. They tie up immediately. Good one two by Yachty. Another one two by Shakti. Now the ref separates him. Good break. Good jab by Shakti. Low kick by Yachty. Good knee by Yachty. Ref gets his knee in there. Separates them both. Down a minute 30. Oh, good right hand by Shakti. Ref gets a knee in there. It says fight on. Now they tie up. Good knee by Yachty and Shakti. Good high kick by fucking Shakti. God damn. Now a good knee by Yachty. Down to a minute. Good push kick by Shakti. Nice one two by Yachty. And they tie up again. The referee has to lift him up and separate him. He has to do everything. More, more teeth kicks to the body there by Shakti. And once again they tie up. Yachty didn't like that shit. Yachty right back on the hunt. Good elbow by Yachty. Good knee by Yachty. Another knee by Yachty. Ref jumps in there to, to pull him apart. 
Oh, right hand by Yachty. Another right hand by Yachty. Ref going to separate him. Oh, good kick to the body by Yachty. Shakti now with a nice knee. Yachty leaning into the ropes with him. Now they're right back to the center. And immediately clinch again. Jesus, these guys are trying to wear each other down at this point. But nobody's getting tired. Ten seconds to go. One, two by Yachty. There's a good one by Shakti. Shakti tries to throw him to end the fight. Holy shit. Shakti tried to throw his ass. Both believe they did enough to win. Very close round and fight, but... Uh, tough. That last round is tough considering both of them were pretty gassed out. Might have to give it maybe to Yachty. I think Yachty maybe did enough in the third to take it. Oh, man. Good stuff, though, from both. They're showing the elbow land for Shakti. Good punches land by Yachty. Damn, Shakti put his whole fucking hand in there. I thought he was going to try to poke him in the eye. I wonder what the judges are going to score this one, though. I wonder who they'll give it to, though. Let's see. Both guys are acting like they fucking won it. I can't even tell who really won. Okay, now we're back. Let's see what the judges say. After three rounds. All three judges. Unanimous decision goes to... Ah, oh, they gave it to Shakti. Wow. So they really thought he did enough for that final round. Not a bad decision. That was a very close one. Very close, but hey, Chakri got Chakri got that one. Damn good fight, though. Damn good fight. And let's see what we got up next. Up next, we have Pedersuk Fairtex and Johan Galizi. Oh, from the Malaysia and the U.S. Oh wow. Uh, let's see. Let's see, shit, move. Jay and the DMV can't escape extreme Democrats. Uh, I haven't been shut down by one, at least not that I know of. DMV, one of the final frontiers to Sparks. Seems like it. See, I got Shock D. As soon as he went green, he lost. Uh, no hippies to Sparks. I think, I don't know if they'll give him a bonus for that one. That was a good fight, though. Don't know if they'll give him a bonus. She really shocked me, says AJ. <laughs> It was a very good fight, though. Not sure if they'll give him a bonus, but if they do, I think it's just because of how good the fight is. And if they do give him a bonus, they gotta give one to, they gotta give one to the other guy as well. They gotta give one to uh, Yachty if they're gonna go that far with it. Let's see if they got it updated yet. Not yet. But so far, this is what we've gone through. We had uh, Celeste Hansen start things off with a round three TKO. Unanimous decision back-to-back -back for the red corner for Hercules in a Muay Thai bout. Brogan in the lone MMA fight. Knockout of the night so far is to go to Shumarov, who destroyed Howley. Just absolutely stiffened him. Fucking chin the man. Ilias with a good knockout as well. Nice, nice flash one of the chin there. And then a decision goes to Shakti over Yadi. And this is what we have in terms of our, uh, I guess, the main card portion of what they call it. Kicking things off is Fairtex and, uh, let's see, Godzali, I guess is how it's pronounced. Yeah, Godzali. Let's see. Let's see, really shot me. They'll give him a measly bonus. <laughs> Cut the check. Shotry. Fuck pancakes. Give me deaths. The sparks. Full on. They should have given him a check for that. Why not? Let's see. Oh, they're just showing some old school highlights now. Oh, yeah, they're showing uh, Ton and get finished by Don Lee. One of my old bosses uh, did to me one time after Long Day. It was like, here's $10 bonus. Like, thanks. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, what's a $10 bonus going to get you? Like a pack of beer or something? Maybe. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You really have to earn bones here. You got that right, M. William. They definitely make you earn bonuses in this one. 
And I like that they force the action with the fighters. They force them to fight. They force them to put it all on the line. I, I like seeing that a lot. It's really cool. They definitely make you earn it. No doubt about that. No no shortcuts in this one. All gas, no brakes. By the way, hearing Michael Chavello's voice for... um, Yeah, hearing Michael Chavello's voice just, is just a crazy reminder... That uh, one championship is going to miss the man. At least we get him for the uh, for the Grand Prix, though. For the Glory Grand Prix. That'll be nice. Let's see. Right there on your bones here. What's up? What's going on, Strickland's Burner? You're jumping in at the right time. We're getting started. Oh, about to get started with our main card uh, for one Friday fights. Of course, the first of two Friday uh, one cards today. We have this one going on now on Friday Fights. Tonight, we have this one uh, going on Amazon Prime. John Lineker and Andrade, Part 2. Of course, John Lineker and Andrade are going to headline. Tawanchi defends the lightweight Muay Thai belt. Martin wins on the card. Sam Petch on the card. Let's see. Daniel Kelly has a grappling match. King Ott has an MMA fight. And Stosia has a heavyweight kickboxing fight. One championship does need to improve their heavyweight kickboxing ranks. But uh, other than that, their kickboxers are still good. They just got to get more names in there. Let's see. Shiv not working with one anymore. No, nah, he's working with Glory now. Uh, Glory got him for the uh, for the Grand Prix that they have in December, and they're probably gonna have him for a couple other cards as well. But yeah, uh, Chavello's going back to doing kickboxing now, which is a shame. Chavello voice always makes me feel nostalgic. Same here, man. He's ridiculous, but anything's better than Shilson. <laughs> Definitely is. He is doing that Grand Prix for Glory, which will be nice. But yeah, it should have stayed with one, in my opinion. Probably would have had more longevity with one, whereas with, with Glory, he's got some, but it's like Glory's always on borrowed time. The OG MMA wave has a couple voices. He's one of them. That's true. Him, fucking Mauro Ranello who's still out there. Mike Goldberg, where I don't even know where the fuck he's at now. I think he's still doing Bellator, maybe. But yeah, him and fucking Chavello and Mauro Ranello, they they got it on lock. Oh, they showed them shoving each other. The Wayans did Lineker and Andrade. Or Andraj. That's going to be a good fight tonight. Andraj was pissed because of the uh, the eye poke. Well, not that, but the fact that Lineker's eye was swollen up. Let's see. Imagine waiting on surgery to shine your check. I know, right? He'd be waiting there forever. Fucking Lumpany will be shut down. That man still won't be appearing nowhere. Damn, they're showing Lineker's eye after the first fight. That was some nasty shit. It was a shame it ended in a no contest. I'm glad that one was able to uh, get them to run it back. It was a good fight all the way up until that happened. Ah, Andrade is calling him a joke saying he don't want to fight him. And that he was afraid to get knocked out, which is a wild thing to claim. But hey, I've heard fighters claim that before about certain certain fighters. Let's see, the day we meet again. Oh, shit. So, yeah, these two hate each other. Sam Petch, the third diamond. Oh, yeah. The third diamond, indeed. Let's see, Sam equals three Petch equals diamond. Shit, he better fight like a diamond tonight. That's all I know. We need him to fight like a diamond in kickboxing. I imagine he will, though. At least every time I've seen him, he's always he's always been pretty exciting. He's not a boring type. Let's see. Hands of stone to his. <laughs> oh, man. You ain't lying. Three diamonds says I know. Possibly. Oh, yeah. They're showing the top three fights of the night now. Yusupov should be pretty good. Against, uh... Against Tawanchi, that is. Let's see. But, yeah. This is gonna be fun. Let's see. And they're starting bright and early with this one, too. I know the pre-fights, I think they have it listed for 7 o'clock tonight. I'll probably go 7.30, though, just so I have a little more time to prepare for the main. But, yeah, 
Should be a good lineup nonetheless. Cheers, everybody. Ah, oh, we now finally have our preview to our next fight. They were taking about five years for that, but at least they're now into it now. I believe it's all Muay Thai from here on in. Yep. Flyweights, catchweight, atom weight, catchweight, and the flyweight in the main event. Out fast is Johan. Even though he's from Malaysia, it says Slash America. Let's see which flag he walks out with, if any. CJ, can you tell me more about Victoria Lee Death? Haven't done any research out of respect, uh, but what do you know? Uh, I say I probably know as much as you do. I haven't seen anything additional about it. I haven't seen any cause of death. Uh, the family's pretty tight-lipped about it all, so yeah. It is pretty crazy, man. There, there's not a lot of info about it, unfortunately. Let's see what stadiums that you use in the background behind you. No, this is, this is actually Lumpany. Uh, right behind me, Lumpany Stadium. This is an empty version of it. Uh, but yeah, this is the stadium that they're actually inside of right now. Uh, funny enough. Let's see. Pullman says, Jay, I gotta go. It's first Muay Thai Friday. I gotta abruptly end. Should happen. See for the animals tomorrow at UFC. Oh, absolutely, Pullman. Have a go one, brother. I'll see you for the UFC in Bellator tomorrow. And I assume probably on Sunday as well. But definitely, my dude. Have a good one. I'll see you soon. Uh, Lumpany. Uh, Lumpany. Uh, is the one behind me. Let's see. We're at St. Omar's Safari. Absolutely. But yeah, not sure why. There's not a lot out there. But yeah, I haven't seen a lot. But yeah, technically this is Lumpany. Hold on. Let me get a... See if I can get everything off there. But yeah. Not not bad, I'd say. Hold on. Pretty good lineup. It it looks like a nice size stadium. Like it's not the biggest, obviously, but it's a it's a good amount. They definitely sold that bitch out though. Let's see, put that back in. There we go. And now we have Punce uh, Petisuk now walking out to the ring for the Ferratex fight team, which explains the last name, of course. This should be a good one right here. 70 wins, 9 losses, and a draw is this man's record? Holy shit. They don't fuck around with these records, it seems like. And by the way, folks, if you want to watch along with me, I have the link up there pinned in the animal room. So that way you all can watch alongside your boy. I think the card tonight is on YouTube in some parts of the world. I know for me it's Amazon Prime, but I think for others they might be able to see it on YouTube tonight. Let's see now. Oh, they're doing the little glove. Okay, I thought it was kickboxing at first, but nah. They got the four ounces. I love it. Obviously, for fucking bare knuckle Muay Thai would be the next best thing, but I will take Muay Thai and four ounce gloves. It beats Muay Thai in the bigger gloves. That's for damn sure. You still get knockouts in action, but I'd rather see the four ounces right there. Gives that it gives that close to bare knuckle feel, if anything. And now Petasuk is inside of the ring. And our main card, our one lumpany portion of the card, has officially begun. And folks, if this is your first time watching One Friday Fights with yours truly, get on the bandwagon now because these fights are as good. As, honestly, these fights are probably better than anything we're going to see all weekend. It might top Bellator. Well, actually, it will top Bellator. It will top the UFC. Uh, it will top Paul and Fury. Really, it's just Friday Fights and Amazon Prime. Those two cards are competing with each other right now in terms of action. Four ounce everything, Lethway will carry us through, says Sparks. You got that right. One championship needs to bring Lethway to, to uh, they need to bring it to the main stage. One championship needs to bring the sport of Lethway to the main stage. We need it. And if you don't know what Lethway is, folks, 
Look that one up. Google that one if Sparks is spelled it out there. But I'm telling you, folks, Lethway is like the one thing one championship really needs to hit that next level savage right there. They're pretty close with Muay Thai, but Lethway, Lethway is the, the wild shit. Headbutts are allowed in Lethway. If you're knocked out, they wake you up and you have a chance to continue fighting or to just surrender. It, it's absolute madness. Here we go, folks. Round number one. Ready? Ready? Fight! Here we go. Petasuk and Johan. One, two for Petasuk. Petasuk with a nice kick. Nice kick for Gazi or Gazali. Oh! Petasuk has been knocked out cold! Holy shit! Oh my god! Gazali just stodged Petasuk! Oh shit! He's out! He is out colder than a lawyer's heart! Oh my god! Oh, what a right hand! What a punch! What a punch! Oh, that right hand! Oh! Oh my god, he face planted him! He's out cold! Out stiff! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh, right on the jaw. He's out cold. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck. Wow. Pencilic has been put into the ground by Ghazali. He's not even there for the decision announcement. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, that's how we do. Boom, nice, crazy, blam. Petsaluk means KO power. Shrugged off the left, was like, blood out, <laughs> full on. I guess no chin, though. He slept his ass. Is that what you... Ty crowds pissed, four ounce, pace race. Oh, damn, Jay, they wheeled him out. Yeah, they did. <laughs> he wasn't even there for the decision. Oh, my God. He's on his way to the hospital. 100% hospital. Fuck! Pencilic might be dead. He might actually be dead. <laughs> oh! Oh! They haven't shown him. They had, Yeah, they had to carry him off. They didn't even show him. Give that man a fucking bonus right now. That's like the second time we've seen somebody get starched on this card. Folks, that's back-to-back -back starching. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. He starched that man. He put him to bed. He put him to fucking bed. Woo. Fuck. Does he get a bones? Bro, if if it's up to me and William, I'm paying that guy right now. I'm giving him money right now. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. If it's up to me, I'm paying him right now. I'm giving I'm giving Gonzali money right now. Pay him, Shatri, please. Sixteen seconds. Sixteen seconds, man. Give that man a rickshaw right now. Full on. In Thailand, they rickshaw you to the hospital. They definitely did. They had to take his ass straight there. Oh man. Oh, yeah. 350,000 dollars. Well, bot, I should say. That's some time money right there. He gave him 350,000 for that. That is much deserved. Hell, I'd give him 500,000 bot for that. I'd give him that. 16? Holy shit, he's only 16. He looks 16. 16 second KO to 16. Holy shit. God damn. 16 years old and he just put a grown man to, to, to sleep how old is Pencilek? oh he's 18 holy shit 
So this was 18 versus 16. And he just put an 18-year-old to sleep. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Yep, 16 years old. God damn. That man's future is fucking bright. Oh my God. Oh! That right hand is beautiful. Oh my God. Fuck, man. That is absolutely worthy of 350,000 baht. I gave him 500,000 baht for that, actually. 16 seconds, man? Shit. <laughs> you put that man in the ground with ease, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. It don't get no better than that. It really doesn't. It does not get any better than that. We still got, folks, we have four fights left. These cards don't don't fuck around. Now we got Mr. Seafood. If you're gonna be sponsored by a seafood spot, you better you better bring the whole damn kitchen that you got. See, so wanna be <laughs> wanna be. He held weight like a Mack truck. Absolutely, man. Took him out with that punch too. That was beautiful. That's the second time we've seen somebody get starched on this card alone. Man, oh man. Absolutely insane. And now they're going to show off the fastest finishes. Let me go ahead and get ready. Hold on. There we go. Let's put that up. Beautiful knockout right there. Just a, a beautiful knockout. It doesn't get any better than that. Boom. There we go. God damn. There's a nice knockout in kickboxing. Oh, I've seen that girl fight. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. She killed this fucking girl. I remember that. Lumpany is like BKFC. It really is. Actually, speaking of BKFC, I think they're on tonight. It's like Allen and Belcher for the heavyweight belt, but BKFC fucked up by putting it on tonight. It should, it should have been a Thursday night card. Or really, well, yeah, it should have been Thursday night. Let's see. You're going to bust these player haters uh, if the motherfuckers act up, says Ann Williams. You ain't lying, man. But you're telling the truth, too, Idaho. It's definitely like BKFC up in there. It's literally like these one cards you can always count on finishes to go down. Every single time. I've never seen a uh, I've never seen a boring one card or one Friday card. Even 1FC, like, slow down. I know, right? These motherfuckers just all gas, no brakes. I love it. And I love that it's all Muay Thai from here. That means everybody's going to die. Cheers, everybody. After that body, we got to switch up. We got to go ahead and break out the blood. That was a good one right there. That was a very good knockout. Friday mornings are necessary, Mr. Sparks. I agree 100%. Very, 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 very necessary. You ain't lying about that. Well, Fury finish him, says Ann William. Yeah, it'll be tough. It'll be very tough for him to do it. Uh, but if somebody's going to do it, I think he can. It'll be tough, though, because Fury is not that good. Well, uh, fucking Tommy Fury, that is. Seafood, LOL. Global rules, I wonder if they had big gloves. Uh, no, they only had big gloves for the, um, for the, for the kickboxing fights. Only the kickboxing fights are the big gloves. They break out the four ounce gloves for MMA and for Muay Thai. Thank goodness. Let's see, I actually got Jake Paul KO and Fury. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Tommy Fury is not a good boxer at all. He's a better reality star, and he's not even that good at uh, being a reality star. Let's see, now we have uh, Yad Pradzuk, Yad Pradzuk walking out first. And then we have Pet Simcom on the way out. Mr. Seafood, Yachi Seafood. Uh, only offshore booking lines. Uh, uh, only offshore books offering lines for Fury Paul. Oh, that should tell you everything. 
I don't even know who's the favorite in that fight. And you know what? That that says a lot. A lot of these people, a lot of them don't trust that it's going to be a real fight. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I'd be suspicious too. And now we have Mr. Yad Propsuk uh, saying a little prayer before he gets in there since he won't be able to say prayer in there. Ah. Good bowing for Mr. Yad Pradsuk. Sword Nantai. And this is at catch weight 60.3 kilograms. What is 60.3 listed as on tap, uh, Leger? As you can see, I'm only using tap as a reference for these cards. That's how you know it's special. Plus, there's no... Look, Tapology doesn't even update the results for the one Friday fight cards. I don't know why they don't do that shit. Uh, let's see. Pradsuk knew. Who the fuck is it? Okay, wait. Padamsuk. Oh, shit. Hold up. <laughs> One. Okay, there we go. Let me see what they got it listed as. Pradamsuk. Uh, okay, I think this is it. 133. Okay. So the catch weight's at 133 pounds. I was wondering what they had it listed as. So strike that over here. There we go. How is this even legal? Uh, let's see. Jay, what does it mean when they say Kraus was an agent for offshore... Uh, let's see. An agent for offshore bookies. Oh, it means that, yeah. he worked, Pretty much what Spark said. He worked in gray areas. Like He pretty much took numbers and shit like that. They said that's why they were investigating him, though. Yeah, because he took numbers and shit on the side and he was giving information to him, which is, I think, why they're investigating him. Industry rules, sports books are shady. <laughs> See, how's that legal? It definitely isn't. It definitely is not legal. You certainly shouldn't be giving inside information to those motherfuckers that that are running offshore accounts. That's an automatic red flag. Uh, do they pay or is it a scam? Sometimes. Yeah, as Spark says, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yeah. Sometimes they do pay, but it's it, it's a little bit of both, unfortunately. Even though I will say, anytime you hear an offshore sports book pretty much taking numbers and nobody else is taking numbers on a certain event, that that's an automatic red flag. At least to people that bet on a regular, that's an automatic red flag. They know something's about to happen. Something, something that they know could probably land them in prison if they put any of their money down in it. 60 and 14 for Mr. Seafood? Holy shit. Other guy's got a good record, too. Here we go, though, folks. Round number one. Who's the ref for this? Are they even going to say? No, they're not even going to introduce the ref. Okay, they're saying fuck the ref. Looks like Olivier Cost, though. Or at least his twin. It's an egghead guy. James got in trouble controlling mass accounts that were on a pay-to-play method. Yeah, you definitely can't do that. <laughs> you definitely can't do that shit. Here we go, folks. Round one. There we go. Let's see if they start off slow or if they're gonna if they're gonna just hit the gas out the brake or out the gate. Good right hand for y uh ya prasuk. Pensacom gonna take his time there. Body kick by Pensacom and a couple jabs. That's a return fire from Yaprasuk. Yaprasuk with a nice knee. Pentacom with a nice knee. Good high kick for Pentacom. Good high kick for Pentacom again. Good hook though for Pratasuk. But another body kick for Pentacom. Pentacom is Mr. Seafood. There's another kick to the body for Pentacom. Nice kick to the body for Yaprasuk. Nice kick to the body again for Pentacom. Damn, good elbow there for Pradsuk. Another knee for Pentacom. Another knee for Pentacom. Another knee and another knee. Oh. Now another knee. Another knee for Pentacom. 
High kick for Pensacom. Now kick to the body for Pensacom. Pensacom with another kick to the body. Nice straight jab. One, two for your Pradsuk. Good knee to the body for Pensacom. Now Olivier going to jump in there and push him away. Somebody throws something. They're staring at each other now. Kick to the body for Pentagon. Nice three-piece, though, for your Pradsuk. And now Pentagon with some knees to the body. They're just uh, clenched up tight and throwing knees. Now the ref going to separate them. Whoa, hook to the body, hook to the head for your Pradsuk. Another clinch for Pentagon. Pentagon's like, fuck that. He's, he's tired of getting hit to the body and the head like that already. Petsacom with a kick to the body. Push kick to the body for Petsacom. Another kick to the body. He gets caught, though, by your prod suit, and now he lands a four-piece. They clinch up immediately. The ref jumps in there, separates him. Says, fight on. 30 seconds to go. Front kick for your prod suit. Good kick to the body for Petsacom. One, two for Petsacom. And a good knee to the body. Good knee to the body. Good knee to the body again for Petsacom. Ref going to jump in there desperately, separate him. Oh, good elbow for Pensacom. Good knee to the body for Pensacom. Now they're going to separate. And end of the round. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, that's hella shady, I guarantee... The fighter I'm coaching would go down on one. Moreno would have had been Krause's first champ. Whoops, <laughs> says Sparks. Oh, man. How he got caught was him saying he had a pick that went 100% hours for the event. That was uh, minor. Uh, missing the action for some Zoom meetings, says AJ. Uh, probably going to head to work soon. They're actually still going to pay me if I go to the house and work. The roof is too icy to work off, says Skatesman. Yeah, I can understand that. Anyway, you can still get paid for the day is, is definitely worth going let see, red is the hugger, says ADFG. Yeah, Petsacom is not liking that. He's not liking the body headshots at all. Your prod suit had a better round there. Man, the damage is, it's really adding up, because I noticed that Mr. Seafood loves to clinch damn near every time that fucking combo landed. He ain't happy about that. Alright, here we go, round number two. Round two. Good high kick for your Prodzuk. Actually, no, for Pensacom. Low kick for Pensacom. Your Prodzuk with a good body kick. Now a high kick. Now a high kick for your Prodzuk. And now Pensacom, Mr. Seafood, hit him in the body. Now the ref going to jump in there and separate. Oh, straight jab there for Pensacom. You whip back the head of your prod suit there. And now he's immediately going to clinch right after throwing it. Ref lets him fight on after he talks to your prod suit for a second for whatever reason. Good high kick for Pensacom. High kick for your prod suit. Good clinch for Pensacom. Throwing some knees to the body. Another knee to the body. Another knee to the body. And now a kick to the body for uh, Pensacom. Pensacom with a kick to the body. High kick for your prod suit. A nice return fire there for Pensacom. And now your prod suit with a couple knees to the body. Ref going to break him away. Says fight on. He's demanding that they turn up the action a little bit. Even though he hasn't had to warn him too much. Good kick to the body for Pensacom. Good kick to the body for your prod suit. Ref going to jump in there. Separate them again. They're going to restart in the middle. And now they're saying time. What the fuck, ref? What do you do? Oh, the clock still runs even after a timeout. Okay. This warning for the holding, I believe. Good knee again for Pensacom. Good knee for Pentacom again. Good high kick for Pensacom. Nice kick to the body for your prod suit. Pentacom with a nice one, two, and a body kick. Now some knees to the body for Pensacom. Another knee to the body for Pensacom. Ref going to jump in there immediately and separate. They reset in the middle. 
Good kick to the body for your prod Souk. Good knee to the body now for Pensacomb inside of the immediate clinch. And they break away and Pensacomb kicks him to the body. Now some high kicks there for your prod Souk. Elbow for your prod Souk does not land. They clinch immediately. The ref is jumping in there. Now they're just staring at each other. A couple kicks for Pensacomb. Good high kick for your prod suit. Good jab for Pentacomb. 1-2 for your prod suit. Kicks him in the body. 1-2 for Pentacomb. And now a nice couple for your prod suit. And now they just tie him immediately. Pentacomb's like, fuck that. 10 seconds. Push kick for Pentacomb. 1-2 for Pentacomb. And there's the end of the round. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see, what's everybody doing after this? I'm immediately jetting off to work, and then right after work, immediately jetting home for one on Amazon Prime. Should be a good card tonight, too. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see, I need sleep, then fight some work. I'm going to get high as fuck with the animals for that, though, no doubt. Living on a slippery slope, we keep doing the rain dance, doing these rain dances. You watch Lennox get a nice smile. Red, he dominates Clinch. Says ADFG. Uh, Chuckle wit. <laughs> oh man, pretty good round for both. Let's see what they're gonna do. Let's we'll see work while listening to Jay. Appreciate it, AJ. So far, not bad. We only have like three fights left on the card after this. This car's flying by. I appreciate it. Boom. There we go. Round number three. Good high kick out of the gate for Pensalek. No, I'm sorry. For uh, Pensacom. Oh, one, two for uh, Yadasuk. But he's just getting hit right now by Pensacom. Oh, shit. Your prod suit is hitting him even more. Now Pensacom. Oh, what a nice jab. They clench up again, and now the ref's going to separate these two. Going to push them away. He says, fight on. Nice push kick for Pentacom. Nice knee for Pentacom. Ref once again getting his damn knee in there just to separate these two. Nice, nice deep kick. One, two for Pentacom. They tie up the head immediately. And they're going to lean into the ropes. Well, kind of fall into the ropes, really, if anything. See, head clash. Wouldn't mind going to the opening for one of these cards someday. Oh, absolutely. It's got to be insane. You definitely got to go when they have, like, those two for one. Oh, shit. A beautiful elbow there for Yapronsuk. Landed a couple of those things in there. But, yeah, it would be great to see one of those double header cards. You know, one card in the morning, one card at night. Oh, shit. Good push kick now for your Yapronsuk. Let's see, Red hugging too much. Yeah, he is hugging a lot. As ADFG mentioned earlier, he was hugging a lot. It was uh, Pesicol. Your prod is the only one that really wants to fight here. Catches the kick. Good jab. Once again, Pesicol just hugging. What the fuck? The ref better get in there and say something about it. Now some knees for Pesicol. Oh, big elbow though for your prod suit. Major elbow. And now Pesicol is leaning forward. He's getting dragged off the... Oh, yeah, he's hurt. Pensacom is hurt bad. Oh, jab. Oh, right in. And now Pensacom is hugging for dear life. Dear life. He is badly hurt. He is badly hurt. Now they're in the middle. Oh, jab Pensacom. Once again, back at the clinch. They spill over into the ropes. Ref separates him. He is hurt. Pensacomb is hurt. He is fucking, he's fucking wounded right now. And once again, hugging. Lumpany Buggerless of Sparks. What's going on, Roland? Good to see you, my guy. Good morning as well. Good right hand for Pensacomb. Or your Pratsuk, my bad. Now your Pratsuk tried to go to the body shots, but Pensacomb is just hugging for dear life. He, won't, he don't even want to fight no more. There's a teep. Another one, two. Pensacomb once again got a clinch. Jesus, he's just hugging. He doesn't want any more. Petsacomb doesn't want anything. He don't want any of the smoke. He's just hugging for dear life. Ten seconds to go. 
Ugly jab. Now some uppercuts for your prod suk. And there's the fight. Give it to your prod suk, man. I say give it to him. He hurt that man. Let's see. Yellow card. I know, right? Should have been a hell. A red would have been fine with the way that man loves the hug. He closed that distance, and once he really started landing the Yaprodsuk, Petsacomb started the uh, clinching. He just didn't want any more of it. He didn't want any part of the smoke once the uh, once the shots really rained down. Man, what a fight, though. Let's see, show him. <laughs> oh, man, the animal room is lit early. Very early. What a fight, though, man. What a fucking fight. Whew. I wonder what they're going to rule this one. Oh. Cheers, everybody. Hit the water first. Now let me hit the bong after that. Sifu guy lost. He definitely did. That motherfucker did way too much holding. Way too much holding. All three judges. They going to give it to who? By unanimous decision, huh? Bullshit! They gave it to Pensacom? That's bullshit. Ah, oh, they gave it to Pensacom by decision. By a unanimous decision. Boo! Fucking terrible. They gave it to the guy who held. <laughs> that man clinched. He clinched his way to a win. That's bullshit. <laughs> that is 100% bullshit robbery. They fucking robbed that guy. God damn. They really rewarded a man for clinching. They really rewarded a man for clinching the entire fight. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Don't give him a damn bonus shot tree. He didn't earn it. Let's see. No robbery. Triple knotted with a pageantry. Oh, man. Highway robbery. No way. Ouch. Boo. Yeah, they, they straight robbed that guy. And an interview. How about that? They're giving him an interview. He's like bleeding down his face and they're letting this guy talk after getting his ass kicked. <laughs> that man held for dear life and survived and they really gave him a decision. That's fucked up. Judges finally show their faces, says Aunt William. How about that? Let's see. Nah, no way seafood won. Seafood was fighting a shark. <laughs> Try to drink much of that stock in Yachi Seafood. Gotta be. AJ, controversial call. <laughs> Let's see. Why you crying blood? This is Sparks. I know, right? Good. No bonus. No bonus. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't give that man 350,000 baht. Don't do it. I'm glad they didn't announce no fucking bonus for that guy. He didn't deserve it. Horrible call. He doesn't even know where he is in the ring. <laughs> I know, right? They got a point at the fucking corner where he has to leave at. That's hilarious. You're like, get out of here. Something smells fishy, so small. And absolutely, <laughs> that fucking seafood stock that fucking uh, the judges have. Oh, man. That's funny. He says, no bat for you. No bat for you at all. He says, his crying tea here says, rolling. Absolutely. Let's see, no bat for you. Thank goodness. I'm glad they didn't give a bonus for that. Fucking, the interviewer didn't even stop him. They didn't even stop him and said, oh, you got the inter they got the bonus. He's just like, nah, go on out of here. Thank goodness for that. Oh, damn, they're showing the best knockouts now. So there it is officially, unanimous decision winner, even though he didn't earn it. He did not earn that one. And the fact they gave it unanimous and not a split is crazy to me. They just straight said he dominated, which he did not. He was the one getting dominated, if anything. Let's see, they're bleeding his tears, uh, getting beat up by his eyes, <laughs> says Rolla. It's because you can't Casino Royale doesn't mean you can get that matcha moolah, says Sparks. One gallon of milk is 200 baht. <laughs> oh, man, that's wild. Let's see, in Thailand. Oh, god damn. Oh, they're showing a beautiful kick to the head from Janet Todd. That's nasty shit. 
Let's see, 200 bot in Thailand. Let's see. Oh, damn. Some motherfucker just got starch. He got face planted right there. That looks, that looks nasty as fuck. Nice spinning back kick to the face. Let's see. How much? 350000 bot worth. About fifty American. Uh, it's $10,000 American, actually. At least the last I the last I heard is like ten thousand American. Oh goodness, that is a nasty looking four piece. And there's another four piece that's nasty. Ten G's mas o oh, menos <laughs> says Sparks. Let's see, three hundred fifty bot ten G's. I'm surprised they didn't give him like five hundred thousand. I'm pretty sure. Well, either way, it's a nice amount of money. But five hundred thousand bots sounds so much better than three hundred fifty thousand. It's very specific. But then again, if you're only giving out ten thousand dollar bonuses, I guess you can afford to hand them out to people in that country. Well, in that continent, that is. And now up next, we have Consulate. Co-main event is hold up. Pent money, and then our main event. So we only have three fights in total left, actually. This car has been flying by. Okay, 10K in those developing countries. That shit's like 100K over there. Yeah. 10 Gs for, like, translating to 350,000 bot. They could probably buy up a whole village over there and, and live like kings and queens out there without money. You could buy 100 gallons of milk <laughs> with 200,000 bot. Oh, wow. That's funny. And they're showing all the highlights from earlier. Our lone kickboxing knockout. I love it. Let's see. Any legit Asian heavyweights in one or is it all foreigners? All foreigners. Uh, you they'll, they'll have like somebody from Asia move up to heavyweight, but they're like moving up from like middleweight and shit. Uh, but for the most part, all the foreigners run the heavyweight scene over there when it comes to kickboxing and uh, MMA. We just getting faded watching fights. Dirty pocket watching <laughs> makes it dry. <laughs> oh, pocket watching makes it dirty. <laughs> it's a sparks full on. Up next is Kunselek and Coco, a motherfucker named Coco. I'm surprised this is the uh, featured, f well, the feature fight for the co-main event. And this is at Adam weight. Wow, so these guys probably weigh like 115 or some shit. At least over on one they do. Only legit Asian heavyweight, anything is the guy Zang in boxing. Pretty much. Pretty much. In terms of just straight, well, yeah, like in terms of straight up altogether, yeah. I'd say it's probably Zang. Uh, he even has some fixed matches. That sounds about right. Walking out first is Coco. Coco getting a good reception out there. He's walking out to some song that's got people going crazy. A lot of yelling for Coco in there. One of the loudest ovations I've heard on the card itself. This is a Thailand battle. Thailand versus Thailand. No idea who the favorite is, of course. Let me see. Any info on these two? Let's see. Coco was 26, but no other info about him. I'll get his record when they announce it. Kunselek, 17 years old. And there is, oh, he's 17, holy shit. And there is a record for him. One fight <laughs> where he won a decision. Not bad. 1-0 and in one anyway. So a 17-year-old versus a 26-year-old. That's interesting. Let's see if Kunselek can uh, get another win here, or let's see if Coco can beat up on a on a on a, a a kid on the rise. I guess is the best way to put it. Even though he's probably fought well over like seventy times by the time he's seventeen. Now Coco bowing. Let's see. Why no Asian heavyweights? Uh, probably not a lot of them in existence in combat sports, if I had to guess. Or at least the ones that are aren't that good, probably. 
I have a feeling if you don't have fixed fights on the way up there, we'll never hear about you, says Sparks. Probably. That's probably what it comes down to. You got to build them up right, and I guess all the options they have haven't been built up right. At least it seems that way. And now we have Kunselek walking out to the ring. This motherfucker looks like he's 17 going on 37 out there. Their stature is small in that too. You never hear about a lot of big Asian heavyweights. You usually hear about like Asian fighters like at the lower weight classes, but never at the heavier ones. And when you do, it's rare that you see him like at that level. And now Kunselet being checked out. By that motherfucker with the longest nose I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. Never seen a schnoz like that. Before on a human, anyway. Yeah, that, oh Jesus, that motherfucker's like Pinocchio and shit. But nonetheless, this should be a good matchup. I don't know who the fuck's gonna win here. Maybe we'll see the younger guy beat up on an older guy again. That is a common theme in, in uh, Muay Thai, at least from what I've seen. I got some Korean friends that are freaking huge to small. Uh, Asians are tiny and fit perfectly in Asia. So skates, men, I'd be the taller dude in Asia. I would have the major girls spinning, says AJ. Good amount of people hanging out. Pretty good morning so far. I think we only have two fights left after this, actually. Only two fights. And now there goes discount Lenny Hardit from the ether. She's not even in the ring. This is the only promotion where the ring announcer is not in the ring. She's probably in the bathroom or green room somewhere. Let's see. What's uh, Coco's record? 80 and 18. Jesus. So 98 fights. 98 fights for Coco. This is fight number 99 for him. Cross Muay Thai and kickboxing. He gets a pretty good ovation as Coco. And now Kunselek. The much younger competitor. Let's see. His Muay Thai kickboxing record is 71 and 20. So 91 fights. Wow. So he actually has a less amount of fights than Coco. Wow. Obviously. But not that much though. Coco's like 99. I think Kunselix, this is like number 92 for him. So not far off. Even though they're like 8 years in age. All right, ref talking to him. I don't even know who the fuck the ref is. Touch gloves, and here we go. Here we go, round number one. Round one. Oh, nice push kick out the gate for Coco. Knocked him down when they call it a slip. High kick misses for Kunselek. Coco catches a kick. 100 by the time you're 18. Yeah, it definitely makes sense. Oh, man, good right hand by Coco and a high kick by Coco. It definitely makes sense when you put it that way. Good high kick by Kunselek. Return fire there by Coco. Kunselek with a high kick, but fucking Matrix moves by Coco to dodge it. Now they clinch up. Ref going to separate. Nice little front kick there by Kunselek. Kunselek being being patient. Kunselek with a kick to the body. Nice. Oh, nice shot by Coco. Now they clinch up. Separate. Push kick by Coco. Straight jab by Kunselek. Both throwing knees. Wonder if there will be a whole generation of them with CT. Oh, there probably is. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Both land kicks to the body. Does Coco and Hunselec? Good kick to the body for Coco. Nice kick for Hunselec. Good elbow for Hunselec now. Oh, straight jab now for Hunselec. Another jab for Hunselec. Straight push kick there for Hunselec. Now the ref, yep, the ref signals right back in. 
Nice catch of a kick there for Hunselek. Oh, kick to the body there for Hunselek. Nice knee to the body for Hunselek. Nice knee for Coco. Nice knee for Hunselek. Now the ref going to separate him. Break away. Nice straight jab for Hunselek. Good catch of a kick for Hunselek and a jab. Backs up Coco. Nice kick there for Hunselek. Knee for Hunselek. Knee for Coco. Knee for Hunselek. Very good work. Ref going to separate him. High kick for Hunselek. Oh, for Coco, I should say. Hunselek with a high kick that misses. Hunselek with good return fire. One, two, three for Hunselek. Now the ref going to separate him. Oh, right hand misses for Coco. Straight jab lands for Coco. Both land knees to the body in the clinch. End of the first round. Nice. Nice. I like it. Good first round. Not a bad one. Coco's fired up out of that shit, too. Damn, they were showing the elbow. High kick miss, though. Not a bad first round for these two. I can't be mad at that. Nice critical knees right there by Coco and by Hunselek. Let's see. No helmet, no CTE. Junior Seau. I don't know about that. Hello boxers have it. Said it in Justin Sparks. Oh, yeah, they definitely have it. These motherfuckers live for it. No, Knowing how TIE fighters are, they live for concussions and CTE. That's what makes it amazing. These guys fight like it's nothing, like it's another day for them. That first round, I'll probably lean Hunselek, actually. Let's see. There we go, round two. Oh, they tie up. Nice high kick. Good elbow for Coco. Good left hand for Coco. Another left for Coco. Oh, both land knees. Ref going to jump in. Oh, good knee to the body. Good a little fucking cross right there by Coco. Overcut by Coco. Good cross by Hunselek in the clinch. Good push kick by Hunselek. Good jab by Hunselek. Good hook by Coco. Oh, good kick to the body by Hunselek. Good jab by Coco. High kick by Coco. Good hook by Hunselek. Good low kick by Coco. Good jab by Coco. Good knee by Hunselek. Good knee by Hunselek. Ref jumping in. Oh, good jab by Coco. High kick by Hunselek to the body, and they tie up again. More clinching. Ref separating him out of that. Good elbow and a kick. Good kick again. Oh, shit. Good elbow by Coco. That would have hurt him. Hunselek goes down, but they call it a slip. Oh, shit. Good kick to the body for Hunselek. They tie up again. Referee got to jump in there and separate him. Let's see. One, two down by Kogo. Right after a moment in the clinch there. Now the ref got to fucking put his knee in there just to separate him. That elbow hurt him. Now a knee, um, elbow by Hunselek. Now a knee by Hunselek. Good jab, good push kick by Hunselek. Good kick to the body by Hunselek. One, two, three by Coco. He backing him up. Four, five by Coco. Ref gonna separate him. Oh, caught the kick and fucking tripped him to the floor at Hunselek. I strike by Coco. Punch by Coco now. Now the ref gonna separate him. 
Did I kick my Coco to the body? Oh, good elbow by Coco. Damn. Big elbow by Coco. Ref jumping in there 10 seconds ago. Oh, good kick to the body for Hanselik. Good push kicks for Coco. Kick to the body by Coco and a couple punches. And there's the end of the round. Canvas two ways, the Sparks, absolutely. Scrappy fight on the inside. The Skatesman agrees. The Skatesman, absolutely. Not a bad round right there. Damn, both guys were landing on each other pretty good in that round. Might lean... Uh, let's see. Might have to lean Kunselek. Might have to. Not a bad round for Coco, though. Third and final round, though. Probably one-to-one -one if I had to guess. The way this fight's been going, it feels like it's it's still anybody's fight. Let's see. Here we go. Round three. There we go. Round three. Both exchange high kicks. I just get him a kick. Oh, Hunter Lake gets him down. But, oh, they don't call it a knockdown. Call it a slip. Good elbow by Kunselek. Now a knee for Kunselek. Oh, shit. He's pointing at his eye. It's Kunselek. Kick to the, kick to the body for Kunselek. Coco charges forward, but they're both clinched up. Ref going to separate them. Oh, left hand by Coco. Kick to the body by Kunselek. And a nice jab by Coco. Kick to the body by Kunselek. Good elbow by Coco. And now the ref going to separate. Good overhand now by Coco. Straight jab by Coco. Another jab by Coco. God damn, he's rattling his head down. Oh, my God. Good kick to the body for Hanselek. Damn, straight elbow for Hanselek. Jesus. This is getting nasty. Straight jab for Coco. Now the ref going to separate him. Reset. Good kick to the body for Hanselek. The kick to the body for Hanselek. Straight counter jab for Coco. Good elbows for both, especially for Hanselek. Another one for Hanselek. Damn. And now they spill into the ropes. Another violent clinch. And now they're going to break away. Good elbow. Good knee now for Coco. Elbow for Hanselek. Ref is jumping in there saying fight. Oh, good high kick. Good high kick for Coco. High kick for Hanselek. High kick for Coco. High kick for Hunselek. Now a jab for Coco. Jab for Hunselek. Now a left hand for fucking Hunselek. And now they're down to a minute. Damn, another knee now for Hunselek. This is competitive. Very competitive. Another strike. Another strike for Coco. Ref says keep going. Another strike for Coco. Oh, and Hunselek catches a kick and dumps him to the ground. Leaping knee for Hunselek. Another leaping knee attempt for Hunselek. But he eats a jab for Coco. Now they switch up in the clinch. Referee going to separate him. Good kick to the body for Hunselek. Wow, good elbow for Hunselek. Damn. Ref going to separate him yet again. 10 second warning sound. 10 second warning. A kick to the body for Hunselek. Catch him a kick and fucking Coco dumps him down. And there's the end of the fight. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. There's the end of the fight. See how it gets stamina, blood. Might be a relic. They're talking about my Seahawks, so I gotta listen. So Smullen. Uh, let's see, they're going at it. Blood. Tim Nguyen. Tim Win. Giving him a round of applause. Absolutely. Uh oh, Tin Win. My bad. Tin Win. 
with a round of applause. I agree, man. Amazing fights. Jay, why isn't there eye pokes of these lumpity stadium cards? Conspiracy? No, I just think it's fighters knowing what the fuck they're doing. They're not worried about trying to do all that measuring stuff. They, they got their fists closed and they're ready to fight. They're not trying to do any of that measuring and shit. So when you're when you're just all gas, no brakes, you got your fist closed at all times. And when you got your fist closed, it's hard to eye poke people. Let's see, legit fight says so small and absolutely. Very good to see that. These guys are all gas, no brakes. It's going to be interesting to see who won this. I think Hanselik maybe did enough. Coco has a good case too, but let's see. Let's see. Judges score cards now say. Judge won. Ah, Kunselek. Judge one for Kunselek. Judge two. Coco. So UFC, so basically a split here. In favor of the winner by split decision. Cool select the right call. Very close fight. Cool select takes it by split decision. Good stuff. I love it. Oh man, I think that was the right call. Split decision. Love a split. UFC gloves are bad for eye pokes. They definitely are. He collapses out of the decision. Is red for him. He does, man. He's relieved. He probably thought he was going to get robbed. <laughs> he must have really thought he was going to get robbed right there. Split decision in the books for Hunselik. He takes that one. And folks, only two cards were, I mean, two fights remain. We have Pantelwi and Hun Harlanek. And then Jinselek and Kong Thorny. Uh, Kong Thorny. Let's see, epic, absolutely. Good fight right there, man. Very good fight. Let's go back up here. Yeah, he definitely reacted like a guy that thought he was going to get robbed. Celebratory leakage. <laughs> oh, man, real talk. Oh, my bad. Good to see everybody hanging out in there, man. Good to see a good amount of people hanging out today for this card. And remember, everybody... This is only the warm-up tonight. Uh, we have Lineker and Andraj, part two. Don't worry about those fights. I'll be on at 7.30, so I'll probably be catching at least one or two of these, maybe. Uh, but these are the fights we care about. Uh, we got Lineker and Andraj, Tawan Chi, and Jamal Yusupov. We have Martin Wynn, who has Razab, uh, Razabal. Uh, Sam Petch Fairtex, and Cheech Long Zhang. Echo, Ronnie Saputra, and Danny King Odd in an MMA fight. In a grappling fight, we have Danielle Kelly and Akira Mera, uh, Minura. Or Miura, excuse me. And then we have uh, Andre Stosia and Francisco Jaha in a heavyweight kickboxing fight to start things off. So this is only this is only the beginning of the day. We still got two fights left. Hold on. So, yeah, we only have the top two fights left. And then, of course, we get into the main one championship card later on today. There we go. Let's see. Thank you for the fire, for another fire stream. Hey, thank you guys for joining, man. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you, Chase Bishop, and everybody stopping by this morning. Uh, best part about today is even if you don't see the morning card, you know, there's always a night card. And even if you miss the night card, the morning card is still good enough to make up for it. And it's good to have two two of these in one day. It's rare, too. I know I know one championship, but, like, you used to do it often. But uh, I believe this is the first time they're doing two one cards in one day. Uh, at least the first time this year. I think they're probably going to do it more often, I imagine. Oh, they're bringing in both fighters for this one. Okay, so they're they're showing respect to both fighters. Best part of waking up is AJ, no doubt, man. Happy to have you guys here. This has been this is good for me too. It definitely wakes me up and gets my day going. 
Speaking of which, cheers, everybody. I love how the win went to Kun Select, but they showed respect to both, I guess, after how fire that fight was. Let's see, one thing I don't like about these cards, lack of promos for the fighters. Yeah, unfortunately, because of the uh, the time, they never have time to explain everybody. They kind of do it as they walk out, and they only ever show a promo for like the main event, like the main card to the prelim portion and main to the main event. But yeah, it's definitely one of those, like, when you see their names, you kind of know them type of thing. But yeah, it's one of those where you got to watch them often. I could take it or leave it, but I'd like to know a little bit about the fighters, at least on the main card. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know they do for the main event, but yeah, definitely would, would be better if they did it for, like, the, the card as a whole, you know? Because it seems like the only education we get is just seeing these guys fight on the regular. That was badass. Uh... Jay, they brought them both out. Yeah, man. I'm glad they did. It was a good enough fight to where you could bring them both out. I definitely have no problem with that one. I think it was good that they brought them both out. You know, that way they can get their proper respect after that battle. Let's see. There we go. So, yeah, we're all good. Yep, we're all updated now. Hold on, let me do this. I've been in the Lumpany Stadium a couple years ago. My ear is still hurting right now. It says 10 win. Rather watch at home. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty... <laughs> it's pretty cool that you were able to uh, experience that, though. It looks like a lot of fun there, but yeah. That's pretty cool, though, brother. I'm glad we got a, a perspective from somebody who's been there. That's, that's really cool. It seems like a fun place. Seems like a real fun place to watch a fight. I like that they have two in one day as well, in some, in some cases. But shit, I feel you though. It looks like a place that's always lit whenever they got some Muay Thai fights up in there. Let's see, that's awesome, Tin. Hell yeah, man. Tin knows. Tin knows what's up. He knows the deal. It's great to have that perspective from somebody who's been in there. That's really cool. Let's see, come through on Fridays, hell yeah. Yeah, man, we, we cover all the Friday cards, too. We definitely, uh, I've been doing the one Friday fight series since it started, uh, week number one, so yeah, we, we love to do this shit on Friday mornings. I do this on Friday mornings, and I go to work, and then if I have a night card, like last week for BKFC, came back, did that. Uh, tonight, I got the one card on Prime, so I'll come back and do that. See, I've been training with the ties. I was 12, but had to stop when I came to the U.S. as 10 win. That's really cool. We have Pet Money. Now, oh, they're showing a, a little tail of tape Pet Me. And for Hun, wait, Hun Harlnick or Harnlick? Hun Harnlick. I think I said it right. I don't know. And this one's at a catch weight as well. What catch weight is this at? 141, I believe. Yep, 140, 141. So this is 141 pounds. So probably 80 fights by 12. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's savage level. Savage level right there. <laughs> Hun hard leg out first. Hun hard leg is a southpaw. Oh, he fought Sexon. Uh, and he lost a decision to sex on in his last fight than Hun Harlick. Let's see if they have any of this info on one. Uh, no, they don't. Uh, let's see. They have that he's 24, though. Anything on the opponent? Hold on. Anything on pet money? 
Uh, 23, but no info whatsoever. You would think the website would have info uh, if, if the fucking announcers weren't able to fully explain them uh, as they come out. Can you tell us about what fighters in the main event names translates to an English escapesman? Oh, and I've seen those pink shorts before. I believe I know what team that is. I could be wrong, but I believe I've seen that style and color before. He's definitely from a well-known gym. Sorge, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, Singa Mawin, I guess is the gym name. I'll, fi- I'll find out when they say the intros, obviously. This should be a good one. This is at catch weight. This is at 141 pounds, even though this guy looks like he weighs more than that. Holy shit. Even though these guys from Thailand are not the biggest in the world, they look like they're completely made out of stone. And they and they hit like they're made out of stone, which is even more crazy. Now from the red corner. Pet money soar jar one. And he gets a good ovation in there. They like him. Oh yeah, they like him. I like that it's a short walkway too. It's not like the long WrestleMania shit. Even though I imagine the walkway tonight will might might be like actually nah. I don't think in that building they could put a long ramp in there. So yeah, they'll just have a traditional walkway for the fighters tonight. And I believe the fights tonight on Prime are going to be in the ring as well. I don't even think they uh, swap out the cage or anything. They should just keep the ring right there. Just get a, just just put a fresh canvas on there, and they're good to go. Can you confirm Tim has a tight name? <laughs> this is <says> AJ. <laughs> now, pet buddy. Now about to enter the ring. He will be the shortest fighter out of these two in there. And he certainly looks like it. I mean, concurrence, <laughs> says these sparks. That is a big-ass back tattoo. Holy shit, what is that, a Buddha or something? Or some sort of samurai? What is that tattoo? That is fucking huge. And now he's being checked out. Let me go ahead and take one more hit since I got time. Since they're going to take about five years. Cheers, everybody. Let's see, 10 says, Pat Manim means wisdoms, and the other one, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Shit, that's pretty good right there, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> so at least we know Pat money means patience. Well, it means wisdom. 40 and 18 for uh, Kun Harnleck. Or Harnlet. Kun Harnlet. That's not a bad record. And now his opponent, Pet Mane, meaning wisdom. Let's see. 60 and 10 for him. Let's see, Jay. Anyone from your job follow your stream? Uh, they probably do. They know what I do, but they don't care since I run the place. But who knows? I don't know if any of them actively do, but I know some usually check in whenever there's a big fight. Both touch gloves. Olivier cost. Tells them to touch gloves. Separate. This should be a quick one. Ah, oh, Cun Harlick. Uh, Harlick will say a little prayer there. Here we go. Go, round one. Good push kick for Hun Harlick. Good high kick for Hun Harlick. Good low kick for Pet Money. Good one, two. Good high kick for Hun Harlot. One, two for Hun Harlot. Hun Harlot with a low kick. Pet Money with a low kick. Good one, two, and a low kick for Pet Money. Good low kick for Pet Money. Good one, two for Hun Harlot.
Good hook there for Hun Harlan. Good one two for Pet Money. Good kick to the body for Pet Money. Good one two for Hun Harlick. Good hook for Pet Money. Good knee for Hun Harlick. Another knee. Oh, another good one too as they break away. And a two minutes good jab for Hun Harlick. Good knee and a good knee there for Hun Harlick. Now they're going to break away. They push themselves away. Wow, the ref didn't even have to step in for that. Nice hook for Hunt Harlick. Nice high kick for Hunt Harlick. High kick for Pep Money. One, two for Hunt Harlick. Another step in knee for Hunt Harlick. And now a jab. He's beating Pep Money to the punch right now. A straight jab. Now an elbow. Now another elbow. Good cross for Hun Harlick. Good jab for Pet Money. Good jab for Hun Harlick. Good one, two, three for Hun Harlick and a nice step in knee. Pet Money almost takes him down. I don't even know why you want to do that. Damn, nice elbow for Hun Harlick. Makes him eat an elbow from the clinch right to the face. Low kick for Pet Money. One, two for Hun Harlick. Good jab for Hun Harlick. Nice push kick for Hun Harlick. Good high kick for Hun Harlick. Nice step and elbow for Pet Money. Elbow for Pet Money is there. Now an el now a knee. Now an elbow. Hun Harlick is pushing Pet Money over into the corner and just destroying it with elbows and knees. Now they break away. Good hook for an Harlick. Nice elbow and a one two. Good jab for an Harlick. Harlick moving to the side. Straight jab for an Harlick. Step in knee and a jab for an Harlick. Ten seconds to go. Nice knee for Pet Money. Nice knees for an Harlick. Nice knee for Pet Money. And there's the end of the round. Good stuff right there. Tough first round. Pet Money had some success, but Hun Harlick was too much, man. Hun Harlick was walking him down and at one point kind of bullying him a little bit. That was a lot of pressure. He let Hun Harlick pretty much dictate the pressure and dictate the pace from the onset. That one's easily going to Hun Harlick. Let's see what's going on, Zach. Say, uh, did you just say Harlick? No, it's Hun Harlick, uh, as you can see on the screen there. Unfortunately, that's how it's pronounced, Hun Harlick. He will take the first round, though. It takes him out the stool, says a little prayer there in the corner, does Hun Harlick. Pet Money now being checked for a mouthpiece, and there's round number two. Good jab for an hard lick. Hard lick with a nice jab and a push kick. Good low kick for Pet Money. And hard lick with some body kicks. Good one, two for an hard lick. Good knee for Pet Money. Good elbow for an hard lick. Jesus. Good knee to the body for Pet Money. Good kick to the body for an hard lick. Now a jab. Pet Money is, he's pressing forward here and not quitting, but he's getting his ass whooped right now. He really needs to do something to switch up the strategy here because pressing forward is nice, but if you're getting hit in the head, it's not really worth it. Good elbow there, and I nice step in elbow for Pet Money. On Harlick with a nice knee to the body, on Harlick with another sharp elbow. Shit. Lands another short elbow in the clinch there. Pet Money trying to be the aggressor, but it's hard to be a full-on aggressor when you're getting hit in the face constantly. Good high kick for Hun Harlick. Good jab for Hun Harlick. Nice low kick for Pet Money. Good elbow there for Pet Money. Hun Harlick with a nice knee to the body.
Right back in the middle. Good jab for on Hardlick. Good knee for on Hardlick. Sharp knee right there. Now a jab. Now one, two, four on Hardlick. Good jab. A good hook for on Hardlick. Oh, man. Damn, another knee for on Hardlick. Shit. Now an uppercut. Now a, oh, wow, a fucking cross right there on Hardlick. Shit. He is hitting Petmanee hard. Petmanee is still pressing forward, but Jesus. Hunt Hardlick is a heavy hitter here. He's got one hell of a chin at least. I can give him respect for that. Good jab for Hunt Hardlick. Good hook and a knee there. Damn, good elbow for Hunt Hardlick. These guys are not quitting. Oh, and they both fall over. They just tumble over on some uh, off-balance shit. Now they're right back to it again. Good elbow for uh, Hun, uh, Hun Hardlick. 20 seconds. Another right, another right back. Good jab for Petmanee. Another jab for Petmanee. Beautiful knee. Now another counter hook there for Hun Hardlick. And seconds to go. And there's the end of the round. Good run right there. Let's see. Zex is in from Thailand. Uh, myself. Let's see. Say Sparks. Good stuff. Always was always curious about how the Thais thought of fighters changing their surname to gym sponsors. I know it is kind of weird. Never gets weird enough. Hello. Oh man, it definitely is weird. It's a, it's a it's always an interesting mix, but like with the names and stuff, it never ceases to amaze me how crazy they are. That was not a bad round, too, speaking of which. Might have to lean on Harlick there. Crazy amount of variety of strikes. Pebmanee, too, was... Uh, Pebmanee was showing one hell of a chin in that one, but he's he's getting his ass whooped. He takes too much damage for my liking. I want to give him the fight, but it's it's tough. That man has a chin, but shit, you can only take so much. They love nicknames, says Zach. Absolutely. They definitely love their nicknames out there. You're not lying about that. There we go. Round number three. Tie it up tight. Good knee for Pat Money. Go to elbow. Ref going to separate him, say fight. Nice kick to the body for on Hardlick. Good elbow there for Pat Money. Good jab for Pet Money. Oh, one, two, three for on Hardlick. Pet Money now firing back. Olivier Cost now gonna drag him back to the center. Can't hate it, says Sparks. You same here, man. It's wild, but hey, it fits the Muay Thai theme of anything. Now the ref gonna drag him back in the center, say fight. This is our co main event. Oh, one, two for Pet Money. Good jab for Hunselek, or Hun Harlick, excuse me. Ref going to drag him in the center. Tries to go for a kick to the body, it's Pet Money. Jab, low kick for Pet Money. Good high kick for Hun Harlick, good elbow for Pet Money. Good elbow for Pet Money again. Ref going to jump in, separate him. Say fight on. Minute 40 to go. Good hook for Pet Money. Jump in. I'm going to separate him. Say fight. Good hook again. Good punch from Hun Hardlick. Good knee for Hun Hardlick. Another knee from Hun Hardlick. Jesus, this clinch looks devastating. What the fuck? What is he doing? He's just like, he's trying to push him to the ground right there, trying to snap him in half. Let's see, Tin Win says, oh, you can keep your real name on the ring, but it's just showing respect to the gym. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Now they're bringing it back to the center. One minute to go. Let's see, we're a fight to the death. <laughs> Main event should be five rounds or fight to the death. I can see that. Let's see, AJ, subscribe if you haven't. Absolutely. 48 seconds to go. One, two, four, pet money. Tied up big time. Both men land knees on each other. Uh, 
Oh, good kick to the body, but a good counter by Hun Hardlick. Good knee to the body for Hun Hardlick. Another knee to the body. Another knee to the body. Another elbow and a left and a right. Good jab for Hun Hardlick. Damn, good knee for Pepe Knee, but a good knee for Hun Hardlick. Ten seconds to go. Ref going to jump in there, separate him, and there is the fight. Not a bad co-main event. 10K will put TIE Fighter on Rich and Hoda, says Zach. It'll make him rich out there in Thailand, no doubt about that. $350,000 or 350 baht, as they say. Probably going to give that to Hun Hardlick if I had to guess. But that's just a guess, though. Not 100% sure they will, but you never know. Was a pretty good fight, though. Was a really good fight. It seemed like Pet Money uh, was too busy just walking into shots. I see him. Oh, my bad. I thought it was the main. Oh, no. This is the co main. Main event's about to come up after this fight, actually. Not a bad event so far. Not a bad event. All right, let's see who wins. Now they got him in the center. Let's see what the judges rule this one. Okay, so after three rounds. All right, what the judges got it as. All three judges rule it. Oh, unanimously. All right, who, who got it unanimously? Ah, Hunsalek, or who Hardlick, my bad. Who Hardlick wins by decision. Had a feeling he'd win. Didn't know it'd be by unanimous decision, but I'll take it. So good stuff. We only have our main event left, everybody. This is our final fight of the card. Excellent work by Hun Hardlick. Who got himself a good decision. One per 35 is a lot, says Zach. Oh, yeah. Goes a long way out there. Pretty good stuff for these two. Wow, he had to go. He almost left the wrong way. Tim Wing giving him a round of applause. Absolutely, brother. That was a good one. That was a good one. And remember, everybody, after this card, we turn over to here tonight... 8 p.m. Eastern Time, my time. That means uh, about nine hours from now, actually. About nine hours from now, uh, we will be live for the big card tonight. They have three prelims, but uh, by the time I get off work, I think I'll maybe have time to catch one of them. I'll be on at like 7.30. Uh, basically, the same time as today, but just, you know, p.m. at a.m. So, let's see. We have Lineker. We have Andrade. We have Tawanchi and Jamal. Martin wins on the card. Fairtex, uh, no, uh, Sam Petch. Fairtex on the card. Danny King on, King Odd, excuse me, is on the card. Uh, Danielle Kelly. And he, uh, let's see, Ayaka Miura. And then, of course, Andre Stosia kicks off the main card in a heavyweight kickboxing bout. So, a lot of fun left. And really... Only one Muay Thai fight left today. And, of course, that is Tawanchi defending his belt at lightweight. See, Martin Wynn go home, says Tim Wynn. <laughs> Tim Wynn. Oh, man. It's going to be interesting for Wynn. I think he has, like, two, uh, like his third opponent or second opponent, I think, throughout fight week. One opponent had to uh, withdraw, and I think he found himself a nice backup. We'll see how we can do with that short notice fight. Should be a quick one. Uh, and there is the preview to the... Uh, oh, no, that's just a regular one promo. Let's see, Commerce says AJ. Let's see, Jin Select and Kong Thorny. Let me see if they have any info on these two. They're, they're the main eventers. They got to know something, right? 26 years old, but no record. That's a shame. How about Jin Select? 21 years old, no record. Terrible one championship. Do better. <laughs> Do better. 
we need to know who these people have fought and who the hell they are. That way we can that that way we have some motivation to care about them. Nonetheless, though, this card's been amazing. Ah, oh, there's RDR getting destroyed by Anatoly. Jesus Christ. Oh, damn. He let that man take too much punishment to the referee. Shit. Lineker and Fernandez. God damn, he knocked him out. Became the fucking Bantamweight champ by knocking out Bibiano. Fucking crazy. And then DJ and Marais. This was the rematch where DJ beat the fuck out of him. The right hand, the fucking leap knee. God damn, killed him with like a similar knee as the one that ate, that uh, DJ was killed with. I can't wait for that rematch in Denver too. That's going to be fun. A lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. Hold on, let me send this out real quick. Johnson and Marais. That should be a good one. Let's see. I'm at work. Still hardcore says Dane. Yeah, that's where I'm going to be. Appreciate having you here. Appreciate having you here and all the hardcores here. My ass is going to be right off to work right after this fight right here. And then, right after work, I'm going to mad dash it home. Uh, and be back in time to do this. I'm actually going to start a little later, like 7.30. I was going to start at 7, but I'll do 7.30 to give myself more time. But I will be here for Lineker, for Andraj, for Tawanchi, for Martin Wynn, Sam Petch, Daniel Kelly, Danny King, Odd, and Stosia. And now we have our little promo here for the main event. This should be good. Thailand versus Thailand. This is that flyweight, of course. Both guys are tatted the fuck up. Jesus. Even my man with the part over there in Kong Thari. Yeah, see, like, here's our little promo about who they are, but they only do it for, like, the main fighters. Like, the, the main prelim fight, they do it for them, and then they do it for the main event of the whole card. They need to do it for everybody. That way we know who the fuck these people are. Or at least have some idea. Let's see. One thirty-five. Oh, so he's a former champion. Oh, shit. Former Muay Thai champ, I believe. Oh, this man talking about how his family didn't have stable jobs. Yeah, see, they're showing him fucking... He's fighting as like a kid. He had to take care of his whole fucking family. So this man's been fighting since he was, I'd say, practically out of diapers. Probably was like five or six when he started scrapping. That's the culture over there in Thailand, though. Them, them kids fight. Young as hell. Uh, he has a four-month-old son that he fights for. God damn. Kong uh, Thorny is a legit street dude in Thailand, man, for what I know. Oh, shit. Assistant win. <laughs> oh, shit. So he, he might fuck up Jinselec then if he's a real street guy. Kong Thorny walking out first. Oh, he gets a good... He's getting a good ovation from the fans there. They're giving him a good ovation. Let's see. And there he is praying. Kong Thore, of course, is praying. Oh, shit. I'm getting messages. Oh, I'll get messages about when I'm going live later. Some of the homies want to check it out. And actually, it's funny. Uh, I don't work with people that are big fight fans. Like, there are some that'll... They'll, they'll talk about Tank Davis since he's a local guy. Uh, they'll ask me about, like, Conor McGregor. Or the fucking Leprechaun. Or they'll ask me about Francis Ngannou who was the latest. <clears throat> but now everybody's asking about John Jones and shit. So it's like they're, they're ultra casual. They're the motherfuckers that show up when the big names are there. 
That's why a lot of people don't get funny enough at my job. They know what I do, but, like, they're cool with it because they're like, okay, it's just what the fuck he does off the clock. However, I won't be surprised if, like, one or two of my colleagues, like, calls in drunk during the John Jones fight and asks me who's winning because one of them motherfuckers, uh, they tried to call in, I think, when I did the, um, what I did... It- and Ganu and Gon, I think one of them tried to call in, but his drunk ass dialed the wrong number. <laughs> now we have Jin Select walking out to the ring. I like that one championship's given us two cards in one day, by the way. I hope that this is more of a thing that they do. I know last year they did it, uh, but this year I hope they continue it. You know, give us a Lumpany card in the morning, give us an Amazon Prime card at night. This is the best way to fucking do it, in my opinion. We still got a good amount of people hanging out this morning. I hope everybody's having fun. This is my way of starting off the weekend right here with some good old fights. And then after this, boom, off to work. Here we go, last one of the morning. Yes, sir, last one of the morning, my dude. After this, I'm off to work. And then I'm going to jet the fuck home. I think I can, let's see, I plan to get there by noon. I'm probably going to work till, it's Friday, so I don't have to do a full eight hours. I'm probably going to work till about, eh. if I'm lucky, I'll get out of there at 5.30. If not 5.30, I'll be out of there by 6. My ass will be home by 6.30 because it's not a far drive. And then uh, I'll at least give myself like an hour to get ready. So I'll probably go on to 7.30. So 7.30 tonight for our second one card of the day. And by the way, that'll also be at Lumpany Stadium, funny enough. We're getting a doubleheader of one at Lumpany. And I believe they are going to keep the ring out, this motherfucker. And now, Jin Selec is praying before he enters the ring. He looks ready to go. This song is a banger right here. I don't even know what this song name is, but I like it. I, I fuck with it. And let's see, we've been live for, oh, three hours, 43 minutes. Yeah, that's early. That is very early. I like that. The earlier, the better, I always say. That's usually our theme around here. We love these fights, but if I can get it done early, that makes it easier for me. Main event time, everybody. And then after this, we dive into One Fight Night 7 later on today. Okay, Kong Thuri introduced first. Two-time stadium world champion. Transasaurus Samai. Kickboxing and Muay Thai record. 60 and 14, okay. For Kong Thuri. This man got 60 wins. Kong Thorani. Kong Thorani. Training out of Soros, Sumaya Jim. Now Jin Selec. To- training out of Tor Lexong Jim. His record. 40 and 8. Okay. Other dude got like 70 fights. This dude got like 40 something. Jin Selec. Sound like Jin Sing. But Jin Selec. Alright, now it's Y Crew time. Which means bring out the caskets, everybody. Oh, there's the music. Bring out the body bags. Bring out the body bags. Someone's going to die. I don't know who's going to die in this fight, but somebody's going to die. Whenever you hear that music, you know the main event's going to be serious. Every time we've had this music play before a fight, somebody's either died or they've, they've left a piece of themselves inside the ring. Oh, these guys are bowing to all four corners. My guy bowing in the center. Red is now bowing down to the center. Jin Selick. Now they're both doing a little dance before they retreat to the corners. They bow and they salute the fans. Everybody gives their respect. Yep, somebody's going to get buried here, folks. Here is our main event. Jin Selick and Kong Thorny at Flyweights. And then, folks... Our final Muay Thai bout of the day takes place later today, about eight hours from now. Actually, seven hours from now. 
Let's see. I'm glad they kept the white crew and won championships since 10 wins. Same here, bro. Whenever I hear that music, it gets me fired up for a tie fight. I know it's not tradition where they play it during the fight, but I, I like that they at least kept an element of it. You know what I mean? I like to see the tradition be put be put uh, in the forefront. And usually whenever that song is played before one of these fights, somebody gets their ass whooped. People have been very angry about the new Lumpany. I believe it. The Muay Thai purists probably hate it because it's got like MMA thrown in there and kickboxing. They probably hate the fuck out of it. So you're right. Good low kick for Jin Select. Jin Select with another low kick. By the way, this is their uh, trilogy fight apparently. These guys are split, one fight apiece. Good low kick for Jin Select. Good low kick for Kang Thorny. Kang Thorny. Jin Select now with the pressure. Low kick for Jin Select. Good job for Jin Select now. Kong Thorny throwing it back. Kong ain't, ain't fucking with him. Jin Select with a jab. Kong with a front kick. Kong with a jab. Kong with a low kick. Nice jab by Kong. Good return fire by uh, Jing. By Jing Select. Jing Select with a 1 2. Nice jab for Kong. Low kick for Jin Select. Low kick for Kong. Oh, Jin Select with another low kick. Another low kick for Jin Select. Nice jab for Jin Select. Low kick for Jin Select. Low kick for Jin Select. Nice jab for Kong. Oh, good low kick for Jin Select. Good high kick for Kong Thorny. Good low kick for Jin Select. What's he gonna do? Jin Select with a low kick again. Kicked him right in the body. Nice high kick for Kong. Good jab for Jing. Another jab for Jing Select. Jing Select trying to corner Kong right here. Four, five piece. And a low kick there for Kong. I mean for uh, Jing Select. Kong with a body kick, but I think Jing Select blocked it. Jing Select with a jab. Low kick for Jing Select. Low kick for Kong. High kick for Kong. Damn, four piece and a low kick for Jing Select. Oh damn. One two now for Kong. Fifteen seconds, low kick for Jing. Jing Select with a nice snapping low kick. Two, three, and a low kick again. Jin Select is, is rocking Kong right about now. Kong getting pieced up in the corner. And there's the end of the round. Kong really needs to, uh, he needs to flip the script here on the game plan. Let's see, I bet they hate those little gloves to his skatesman. Oh yeah, they definitely do. They absolutely do. To them, they don't see it as Muay Thai. They see it as a mockery, I think. A lot of the purists do. Good jab, by the way, for Kong in the replay. Jin Select with the low kicks. I think Jin Select won that round right there. He was the bully. And he chopped out that damn leg of Kong, too, man. He was a bully. Beat that man's leg down, chopped his leg down, slowed him down with the kicks. Oh, man, it was brutal. He says, yes, sir, assistant went, oh, yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I know the purists don't like it, but I'm glad that there's still some fight fans that respect it. And a lot of fans that are new to Muay Thai, they don't mind it. So if anything, there is some good to come from it. They're checking for mouthpieces now as the ref. Here we go, round two. Good jab. Jin coming with M14. Oh, shit. Low kick for Jin Select. Jab for Jensen Lek. Nice high kick for Kong Theory. Oh, good jab for Jensen Lek. Jensen Lek with a high kick. 
Kong catches it, pushes him down, but Kong, as you can see, is favoring his leg quite a bit. Good jab for Kong. Oh, good. Low kicks for Jin. No! Oh, and down goes Kong! Down goes Kong! His leg is fried. His leg is all fried up. Six, seven, eight. This is leg destruction. Oh, push kick for Jin Select out the gate. Oh, and down goes Jin Select off a jab! But wait, they call it a slip, not a knockdown? What the fuck? That's a robbery. Kong knocked his ass down clean. Kong kicking him now. Good jab. Oh, Jin Select goes down clean. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. He knocked him out cold. Oh, my God. What a comeback for Kong with one leg. Just knocked out Jin Select. Oh, my God. What a fucking comeback. What a comeback. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. What a comeback! Holy shit! Yo, Kong was on his way to losing! He was down after that low kick, man! And after that four piece! Jin Select was about to beat him! And all of a sudden, oh! And so Jack caught him! Woo! Clean! Clean! Right on the button! Oh shit! Woo! Fuck! Oh my god! Wow! What a comeback win! What a comeback win! Yo! Holy shit! Kung has that power even when he's on his way to dying. Holy shit! Are you kidding me? Wow! A minute and two seconds in the second round. <laughs> wow. That is insanity. What a comeback by Kong. That is a legit comeback by a legit motherfucker, man. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. What a comeback victory. I rickshawed into the hospital. <laughs> This is why I don't sleep, so Sparks, damn right. I told you Kong is legit, man. He is legit, and when you were right, man. Hell of a call by you, bro. Even on his way to losing, Kong Mani comes back. He fucking come back. Give that man a bonus, damn it. Give him a bonus. Holy shit. Wow. He could barely stand on that leg, too. Holy shit. Man. What a card, ladies and gentlemen. What a card. I mean, off the rip, man. TKO for Celeste Hansen. Dynamic decision for Hercules. Decision win for Brogan. Fucking stiffening knockout from Shumar uh, wait, Shumarov. Yeah, Shumarov. Another brutal knockout for Ilias. Nice unanimous decision win for Shock D. Brutal knockout for Johan. Easily the best Muay Thai knockout. One of them, anyway. Uh, unanimous decision for Petsum Kong. Split decision for Kun Select. Split decision for Hun Harlik. And then in the main event, a beautiful knockout for Kong Thury. A comeback knockout for Kong Thury, man. A comeback knockout. Fuck, man. Kong Thury with a beautiful comeback knockout wow bonus 100 percent bonus yes they gave him a bonus for that one he earned it bro he fucking earned it you kidding me with that brilliant comeback you gotta give it to him man wow absolutely beautiful folks thank you all so much for joining me man this was an amazing card this was so much fun. I'm glad I uh, glad I woke up for this one with you guys. And once again, one championship delivers on a Friday morning. Can't hate it at all. Folks, have yourselves a great day. Remember, I will be live tonight at seven at seven thirty. I'm gonna say seven thirty. Seven thirty tonight. 
for Andrade and Lineker. And of course, we get more Muay Thai with Tawanchi defending his belt. We get Lineker Andrade the the rematch. They run it back. Martin Wynn, San Pet Fairtex, uh, Danny King, uh, Daniel Kelly, and Andre Stosia. So, folks, the Lumpany Stadium action begins tonight. Uh, in about eh, about eight hours from now, about eight hours from now. But folks, I will see you all tonight. Thank you all so much for an amazing card and an amazing time. I will see you all in about eight hours. Till then, I'm gone.